All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. A little bit of a late start was having some technical difficulties. That's how it is, you know, in the streaming world. Sometimes uh, <laughs> things don't always go as planned. However, I am very, very excited for this stream. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, so let's talk about the game really quick. The first game we're going to be playing on this stream is called Cattails Wildwood Story. And for those of you who haven't heard of it before, if anyone is familiar with cozy games like Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon, uh, things like that, it's basically along those same lines. It's very cozy. It's all about interacting with the other characters that are there and like building your life, except your cat and i haven't played or seen much of this game yet because i didn't want to spoil it for myself but i am so excited for this um big shout out to the developers of this game for sending me a key the game officially fully releases on the 20th of october so five days uh and i i cannot wait to share it with you so let's get this set up really quick all right, are we ready? Let's make sure we got our game. All right, is cattail's gonna work or we gotta do the other way? There we go. All right, let's move the chat. Oops, that's the stream. Let's move the chat over here, probably. I don't know where the best corner to put it is, but welcome, welcome everyone. Hello to Ashley, hello to Yo Dats Klaus, hello Deathfire Ritsu, hello Shunif, uh, hello Jurassic Mation, uh, welcome all to the stream. So let's get right in here. Okay, so we've got our options and this one I want it again to be a very hands-on stream. Can we full screen this? Go full screen, there we go. So, the first thing we gotta do is make our cat. I don't have a save file yet. Again, I've looked into this game a little bit, but I didn't want to spoil it for myself. But again, you basically are going to be in a colony of cats. And I'm so excited. So we have to create our cat. All right, I'm glad I got your name right, Shunif. I'm, I'm so glad I have a horrible habit of mispronouncing people's names. <laughs> so we need to create our cat. And let me tell you, I played around with this. The customization in this game is insane. Like you can basically, if we choose, like, let's say the silver tabby, you can make a copy and you can like customize the whole color. Like we can be purple or we can go like this. You can basically even, like, make your own patterns and stuff. It's insane. Hi, Karen. Welcome to the stream. So I want your guys' help making our feline friend here, okay? So I think what we're going to do is make something from scratch. Let's see if we can do that. New. All right. So... Okay, Yo Dats Klaus is saying do a black cat. I love black cats and that's so perfect for Halloween because it is the spooky season. So let's see, what would that look like? Oh my gosh, this is a void. This is a void. All right, we also have suggestions for purple kitty and I bet you we can do both because you can do um, patterns on this. I want to be a little silly. So maybe we can do like black and purple. So if I go up here... Turn the saturation up. Let me tell you, this, this customization is crazy in depth. Oh my gosh, we are neon purple, guys. <laughs> Absolutely neon purple. So let's see, maybe we can like... Oh, I have a great idea. Hold on. Let's us do... All right, we have like a dark black cat. And then let's see if we can get the head... Look at this. It's like he's wearing a little mask. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys, uh, when you were kid, old now for, for saying this, but I read the Warrior Cats books when I was a kid. And um, they were like my favorite book series in the whole world. Oh, what happened to my UI? Hold on. Give me a second. 
Okay, we're back, we're back. I just, I was reading chat and I think it, it exited out for a second. But I read the Warrior Cats books and this game totally reminds me of that because it's like cats hunting in the, in the woods. All right, I'm seeing purple stripes. That's another, another great thing. Totally perfect for spooky month. And then red eyes, we can absolutely do the red eyes. So I like our purple mask that we have going on here. He, he looks like a little bandit and I'm here for it. Now look at that. Now look at that. We can make... Hold on. So we have these stripes. And then we have these stripes. Oh my goodness. We can make them all different colors. That's crazy. And then we have like patches and stuff too. Okay, so let's... I want both the stripes. How about that? Can we like turn the saturation up more? Yeah, so it matches there. Can we give them hats? I'm not sure. Yes, I did get sound for you guys. I totally forgot to load the sound. But um, here, let, I think I need to turn it down a little. Let me know if the sound is okay. By the way, if something's too loud, um, I can change that. <laughs> All right, so we've got our purple stripes and a, a little bandit. Ooh, we can do stripes on the head. Wait, can I do like black stripes on the head? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, how about a white belly? Can we do a white belly? Hold on. Oh, it's so precious. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this. I want a I want a white tail tip too. Look at how cute that is. What is the point? Oh, that's like uh the inside of their head. Can we make that a really bright purple? Or like even fade it maybe to like a, a pink. That's kind of cool. Do we have heterochromia? Yes, we do have heterochromia on this. Uh, what color should the nose be? I don't know if we can change the ears to orange, Ashley, but we might be able to do the nose as an orange. Let's see. Yeah, here's a bright orange nose. <laughs> He's like a pumpkin. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no, we can change the ear colors. All right, so since you suggested orange ears, let's go for it. So we've got bright orange. And then I want to do the same to the left ear. That's more yellow. We need it to be at 13. There we go. Yes, look at that. Can we just like totally make it neon? Okay, so he is a perfect cat. We've got the black, we got the purple, we got the orange. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> this, yeah, we are dating the playthrough as being in October. But let's be real here. If you don't celebrate spooky month four months before it's October, I mean, you're not committed. You know, that's just how it is. I do want pink in her ears. That's just a classic. You just gotta go with the pink in her ears because that's just too cute. And then, oh wow, we can do paws. This is this is crazy. The game should just be making cats. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, that would be super cute. Like you just, it's just a cat creation simulator. That's basically the Sims 4 pets. Let's be real here. I like never actually play the game. I just make cats. Okay, so for the paws, I don't want to do too crazy. Maybe we can just give him like a single sock to match the belly. Can it have a scar? Ooh, I'm not sure if it can have a scar. Maybe, okay, wait, this is just the body. Maybe it's, uh, okay, we'll save this. Save the coat. Maybe we can do body type. Hmm, I don't think we can have a scar. Can I play the game called Wobble Dogs? That is one that I would love to play. That is such a fun game. I've watched, I think, Germa played it, and that one was so funny. Okay, now what are we gonna make? Look at the fluffiness. Oh my goodness. Wait, did we not get our... Oh, we have to select this coat. We gotta wear the coat. Okay, okay, okay. Body type. So we can do fluffy, slender, large. That is a large cat. And then short hair. 
I mean, I love Fluffy. I honestly think that is so cute. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to stick it on Fluffy, but we can always change it. Oh my goodness, the face. <gasps> I almost want to do the large face Fluffy body. I mean, look at that is like ridiculous looking. It is so cute. And then for tails. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that is actually so fluffy. Or we could do we could do the bobtail. It's so cute. You guys like the large? We can do the large. There we go. We got large, large. And then we can do like a maybe a super fluffy tail. Like he is just the largest, fluffiest cat in the whole world. I love it. Now we need to choose his voice. Okay, so let me turn this up so you guys can listen carefully. All right. We got one, two, three. Oh, four is so cute, guys. It sounds like just a little, just a little baby. Five, I mean, they're all cute. Oh my goodness. Wow. There are so many options. Oh my gosh, there are 10 whole options. Hold on, I really liked, was, was it? Wait, four is kind of funny, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay, it's split between two and four. Okay, we got another vote for four. All right, it looks like, Hey, Jurassic Nation, you voted twice. <laughs> hey, don't spam the chat, all right? Don't spam the chat. All right, we'll go with four, since it looks like we got the most votes for four. We got three votes for four, so we're gonna do that. And then I want it to be, because he's a big, chunky boy, we want to do, uh, I want to do low as possible, okay? We're gonna do that, and then eye color. We can do heterochromia, and, uh, Basically, sorry, I got distracted. My partner's trying to cook dinner and he overcooked it by about 10 minutes, so I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> We're just- I, I stream in the kitchen, so I might be a little bit distracted while he's uh, eating his veggies, but... Okay. We're gonna get the eyes done. I think someone said red eyes, and I think that's great, because it's super spooky. We have the demonic red eyes, and I truly love that, so I'm here for it. All right, so bright red eyes, one red, one white. We can't, can't we do like a, I was going to say, we can't do the one red eye because then it'll be like, uh, what's the skeleton from Undertale? No, he has a blue eye. We have a, he has a blue eye. That's okay then. Okay, we'll do one red, one white. He looks like a candy cane. No burnt dinner. It's not going to be burnt. It's going to be more mushy. It was boiling. All right, I, I like the red and white, or we could do the, the blue and red. It looks like he has 3D glasses. Honestly, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with blue and red. Okay, uh, the Undertale skeleton has blue. I think if we do blue and red, it won't be like Undertale, right? Because the blue and red makes me think of 3D glasses and I love that for us. So I'm gonna make the executive decision of going with blue and red here. And then we have accessories. <gasps> Ooh, we do have a scar. It's hard to see, but it goes across its eye. We can also do, we got flower glasses. Oh, we, the whiskers kind of cover up its face, but it's cute. I don't care. I like it. I'll do the scar and I'll do the whiskers. Christmas Halloween hybrid cat. Basically, yeah, we're doing just a holiday, uh, holiday friendly cat right now. Now most important thing we've done the customization we need the name guys so there is a meme out there and i'm sure you all have seen it where it's like dog people give their names like normal names like buddy or william but cat people give their cats like crazy name crazy names like spork or you know beans and toast or something so we need our we need our silly Cat name. Can you name the cat? Yes, we're naming the cat. So, Nathan, can you turn off the induction heater? It's still on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he wants... Okay, so Nathan is... Um, that's my partner. He's Bob Toenail in the chat. <laughs> He's the mod naming it garbage. 
big chunga binks oh my god is isn't binks no that's bingus i was gonna say that's that like bald cat mr fluffy butt grape he is purple binks is really cute smiling axolotl that is a really cute name spatula oh my gosh wait that's kind of perfect i kind of like spatula hold on I, I think we have to go with spatula. That's just too good. All right, I got to make that executive decision. Spatula is just the cutest name I've ever heard. And then for the birthday, I want to do fall. Not just because we're doing spooky, but because my birthday's in fall. Okay, wait, we have 10. Yeah, we have 10 days. So my birthday would be like the 8th, probably. Like, you know, in relatively. I have my... My birthday's at the kind of the end of fall, maybe. So, Spatula's birthday is autumn 8. Are we ready to get into this? That's like, oh my gosh, we have spent 20 minutes customizing our cat, and I love that. Okay, this is a perfect baby. Ooh, gotta select our game difficulty. Alright, I think we'll just go normal difficulty. Like, normal, normal everything. Um, we'll just leave it as is. Are you guys cool with the light flashes? I don't know. Okay, light flash visual visual effects such as lightning during a thunderstorm. Uh, so, should we... I think we can leave those on, right? So, hold on. Is everyone okay with leaving the light flashes on? I'll, I'll leave that for a second just so we can check in the chat. Mine is an actual name, <laughs> yeah. I know everyone has a, a different um, name for their cat. Spatch is what I call my cat and start of out. Okay, that's funny. Oh wow, I just subbed you like two hours ago and you're streaming now? Yes, welcome to the stream. Welcome to your first stream in Jerry Chaos. Um, I do, I try and do weekly streams here. Uh, usually on Tuesdays, that's the, the plug. So tune in for those, so welcome. Okay, so it seems like y'all are okay with the flashing lights. Um, that's great. I'm glad we checked in. So let's get started. And we're gonna see all of these cute cats. I've seen the art style for this game. Oh my goodness, it's so cool! <laughs> all right. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. See, I'm telling y'all, this is like warrior cats for real. If anyone here has read Warrior Cats, you have to let me know. I was absolutely feral for that series when I was a tween. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. I love the birds. That's so cute. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the Forest Guardian. Oh, <gasps> the word of the guardian was law and all the cats revered them. Look, it's like a lion. That's actually pretty cool. I love that. From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of them all. The cats of the forest thrived. I would be thriving too if I was like a cat living in a tiny little forest. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. That's... that's scary. <laughs> A horrible rift was ripped open in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian spirit would not survive. Wait, that would actually be so sad. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to save our, our guardian, our deity. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called and the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated, deliberated <laughs> long over what must be done. 
the decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life. You, Spatula! <laughs> a cat of great renown! You guys, Spatula is a cat of great renown. I'm so proud of them. They offered to lead a group where the leader into the unknown and build both a new home and a new temple. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a path a patch of earth to call our own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. Bachelor is thriving. <laughs> what will become of your colony? Will you lead them to a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Also, I'm happy to hear at least two of you have read some of Warrior Cats. Deathfire Ritz, I read a little of it. And then Shunif read the first book. So, Wings of Fire person. Okay, you're a dragon person. That's hella chill. Still. Stu uh, still. So, yeah. But I highly recommend just perusing the drama of the Warrior Cats uh, fandom. It is so funny. <laughs> All right. We have Coco. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Coco. They say... Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks like as good a place as any. Black ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. I'm sorry, guys. I, like, can't read. <laughs> Let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. I look so out of place. I'm, like, this bright purple cat in the middle of, like, just surrounded by normal cats. And I'm here for it. Spatula is a king. Okay, we have Spark. They say, oh, do we really have to set up camp again? We just did that yesterday. When are we going to finally pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? Hold on, I need you guys to hear these sounds. Also, hi, Leaf. Welcome to the stream. Uh, <laughs> listen to that, the little, like, bubbles. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. That's too damn bad, Spark. We, we gotta set up camp. Do I have a time outline for this stream? It's gonna be a couple hours. We're probably gonna play like two hours of this at least and then uh, finish off with like another game of your guys' choice. We'll do, we'll do a, a poll. Oh, this one hissed Jag. Hi, Jag. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. Oh, we got a sassy motherfucker over here. Kind of, I'm kind of here for it. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. <laughs> spatula will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Spatula? Yeah, exactly. Spatula, I'm the great leader. You have to obey me. Of course, Spatula will make an announcement once we find our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. So I actually get to choose where we settle. That's that's kind of awesome. <clears throat> we've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here, at last our luck may finally turn for the better. I suspect it will be soon. I, I hope so too, Coco. Spark, we really could use your help. Where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? Ember is adorable. I um I took a picture of this. I was like playing, I was like looking at this game and like I kind of played through it just quickly to get a good sense of it. And this is the picture I sent out to my partner. I was like, look at this game. This is the cutest thing. <laughs> You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. So Ember is is little Sparks' mama, and that is just so cute. <laughs> game name this game is called cat tales um you can buy it on steam it's it's actually technically a uh like a sequel uh, it's cat tales wildwood story so the original game was cat tales which i did not have the pleasure of playing um but there's a link in the description it comes out on the 20th so check it out it is so cool <laughs> Hey, Spatula, I'm going out to hunt. In the meantime, you suppose you could help Spark feel better? 
Is Spark feeling ill? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some valerian to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always puts a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of valerian just south of here across the brook. All right, I'm headed out to find some dinner. All right, we're gonna, gonna eat some raw meat for dinner, just the way I like it. All right, WS data move, and we look, we can look at our whole cat. Look at its little belly. Oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, hold on, there's like a path. I, I did not notice this at first. We can like walk across, or we can go in the water. We've got like a little bubble. Oh, so we, hold on, we don't wanna drown. <laughs> There it is. There's the valerian. Hold on, I want to collect. We got to get all of the valerian. All right. Is there anything else around here? We got more water. Okay, looks like that's it. Can we jump? Okay, we can do... I don't know what this is. What What's this in here? This is just a tree. Spatula is a unit. Spatula is a unit. Look how wide he is. He is massive. Okay, we can double tap to run. Okay. I kind of love that. Oh my, did you hear the little meow? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I love this game. What's that smell? Smells like valerian. Did you find some spatula? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I really think it would help my headache. Okay, we got to open our inventory. So we got to... Q to open inventory and view all the stuff we have. And then close the inventory and give it to Spark. Okay, so press E. Z to close. And then what, we click on them? Yes. Smells like Valerian. You already said that, Spark. <laughs> Yo, Spatula, do a dance. Hold on. We'll do a dance. We gotta give uh, Spark... They're feeling better already. All right, we've 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 done this, guys. That's the game. I can do this now that my headache is gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Let's go. Thanks, Spatula. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Freaking kids these days, am I right? Thanks for your assistance, Spatula. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is a wonderful way to make friends. So it is going to be like Stardew Valley. We can give everyone gifts. I love that. I wonder if they're going to have likes and uh, dislikes like in Stardew Valley and like Dinkum and stuff. Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Okay, so we got to do... Oh, hold on. Coco's coming back. Oh, oh, Coco is mad. Who would win a spider monkey or a spatula? Spatula would win. Spatula is a freaking legend. Those pesky, slippery little mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You're looking a little stressed out, you know. I regret to inform you that I have returned empty-handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Dude, there's like a freaking tornado over here. Look at that. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food or we're going to be very hungry. Indeed, yeah, you got to do your job, Coco. You're slacking a little bit on these mice hunts. <laughs> Spatula, you've always been an excellent hunter. Why, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Ooh, is it stinky? Or the mice, do they smell? I mean, rats do kind of smell bad, so I, I can't blame them. Yes, I think this would work splendidly. Is this is this cat British? The mice are just to the east, through the forest, and then a little south. I'll lead the way. Lead the way, Coco! Oh, look at that. I think that is attack. Hold on, we gotta do our dance. Can we emote in this game? I hope they have an emote feature. Feral cat simulator? I know. Thanks for agreeing to help Spatula. Between the two of us, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. I sure hope so. We've got like five mouths to feed here. Spatula good at everything? For real. We're just like a... We got that main character syndrome. And you know what? I want to be good at everything. <laughs> now there's just a small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us back. It seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I returned. Do you feel it, Spatula? The gusts are low to the ground. It is a tornado. We're literally going to get... We need to run or this camp is going to be attacked by the tornado. It's all going to be gone. 
I suspect that a well-timed dodge may be enough to avoid it entirely. Why don't you try to dodge the wind gusts and push ahead? All right, we got to press control to do a dodge. So we got to... Oh! Oh, Coco's in the way. I was like, why can't we go? We were like sniffing Coco's butt. Oh! Oh my gosh, we did it. And just like that, we were just too fast that the tornadoes disappear. Like, we're freaking Sonic out here. We should have made our cat blue. <gasps> we should have made Sonic, guys. That's okay. I like I like spatula. There's they're a spooky little bitch. I love it. The clearing where I saw the mice is just to the south. I'll meet you there. Five nights at spatula. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, <gasps> thistle. Yo, guys, we got a thistle. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Hold on. We got to collect everything. Are you guys also loot goblins in in cozy games? Ooh, we got a cutscene. Here comes Coco. Do you think we can chop down trees in this game? Are we going to be like outfitted with an axe? We're going to be a lumberjack. Do you smell it, Spatula? There's a mouse hiding somewhere around here. No, Coco, that's just me. I, I didn't shower today. I'm um, I'm just a little stinky. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. We're too powerful for this world. We should be the spirit. Is that the ending? Are we gonna become the guardian? We're gonna like turn into a lion. <laughs> there, it's a mouse. Now's our chance. First, you'll need to sneak so it won't see you coming. Get nice and close. The closer you are, the higher chance of success. But don't get too close. If you do, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce. If you're successful, you will have caught the mouse. If not, you can always try again on another mouse. If I screw this up, we're we're starving. Like little Spark, he's gonna die. Like so, I better get this right, or or the fate is you know the fate is in my hands. If I mess this up, that's it. The game ends because we've let our clan starve. Good luck. All right, we gotta press shift to sneak and then press space to pounce. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, that's that's the wrong button. Hold on. Ooh. I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Oh my gosh. Oh no, you were close to catching that mouse, but it looks like it got away. I hate to break it to you guys. Um, Someone's dying of starvation tonight. We're not We're not going to make it. Uh, so sorry to little Spark over there, but yeah, he's, he's not going to make it. There's not enough food for the clan. That's all right. We all miss from time to time. No, you don't understand, Coco. We we're in dire straits here. <laughs> this is a life or death situation. Okay, there is another mouse. It seems like there's just a big rat infestation here. So, you know, that's I mean, we're taking care of that. Can't have the rat sneaking around our house. All right. You've you've told me this, Coco. Don't worry. I got this. I'm a pro. All I need to do is just uh, succeed at the quick time event. All right, got to shift, get nice and close, and then we got to get into the green. Yes, we got it, guys. I would be eating twigs, bro. I feel that. I know I'd be a vegetarian just because I wouldn't be able to hunt well. Well, time to eat the grass for dinner. Y'all are always talking about eating grass in this chat, I swear. But yeah, we're going to become vegetarian after this. They say that the vegetarianism was the result of a poor hunter. Leaf is saying to eat spark. That's not a bad idea, you know? Like, we need food. And if he's gonna die anyways, we might as well make use of the, our resources. <laughs> Turns out all I needed was a buddy, because I caught one too. Now he won't have to return empty-handed. You're just trying to show off, Coco. You know I caught that. You're just, you're just, uh, you're trying to show off. There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. Use your nose and track them down whenever you get hungry. Uh, what if- can I catch more? Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rumble. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Dude, three days ago we've been giving all our food to Spark. He's like a, a mouse eating machine. Good thing you have that mouse. Good thing. Yeah, no. Don't- don't tell Spark that I'm going to eat the mouse. He's he's probably going to starve anyways. Yeah, you should probably eat it now so you won't starve. Damn straight. All right, we can see our hunger bar in the lower left-hand corner. 
As you play, hunger bar will decrease over time. You'll need to eat it regularly, so I don't take damage from starvation. Yeah, you can deadass starve in this game, guys. Alright, so we gotta pick up the mouse with E, open the mouse, and then press R. That's easy. Okay, so we got E, inventory, and yep, yeah, now we can just go boom. Oh yeah, look at that. <gasps> Our hunger bar is a little fish. Does that mean we can go fishing in this game? If so, that is amazing. I don't even think Spark would give enough meat to feed everyone. I know he's just a baby, but again, we're not going to kill a perfectly good cat. My favorite drink is Spark Tears. Hi, Polar Kaiju. They say uh, sparkling water. That, that's clever. That's what Spark Tears are. That looked like it was tasty. It was disgusting. Have you ever eaten raw rat cocoa? We need to learn how to cook our food. This is kind of getting ridiculous. I can only get E. coli so many times. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. You're telling me. Tell that to little Sparky. I wish I had a fish bar IRL. I know, right? I want my hunger bar to like be present on my screen as a little fish icon. All right, we've done our duty. I have a mouse to bring back with us. What do you say we go back to the campsite and see how it's going along? You brought back one mouse for all of camp. I don't think they're going to be... What in tarnation? Dude, someone let like an oil spill. Don't tell the United States military or they're going to come and invade this area. What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? We, we're going to go over there, aren't we? we? You know we shouldn't go over there. If it's dangerous, we shouldn't go over there. We should investigate? Coco, are you trying to get me killed? Think you could check it out? Oh, so you're not you're not going over there? Just me. Oh. Oh. What? Dude. Oh shit, it's a ghost. My hunger bar would always be empty because I'm always hungry. Felt that, dude. I would slurp that rat tail like a noodle. We're still on yesterday's stream. <laughs> uh oh, that doesn't look friendly. It looks like you're on your own for this- wait, this fight? Excuse me? Excuse me? We're fighting? Oh my- this is just like warrior cats. We're like fighting Shadow Clan over here. Coco trying to be the new leader. I know this is an assassination attempt. They were like, spatula's too good. Yeah, can we make Spark do the fight? <laughs> Poor Spark, he does not deserve this, but like again, we, we gotta have someone to pick on. You can do it, Spatula. Keep a level head. I'm sure you can win. I'll give you some pointers. Bro, you're a coward, Coco. No offense. <laughs> you can use your claws to swipe and deal some damage. It'll probably take a couple hits to take it down, judging from the look at it. You calling me weak, Coco, because you'd be right. Be careful to stay out of the way of its attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. I'll be rooting from you from here, Spatula. You've got this. Okay, I press space to attack. Sure. Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Can I? I can dodge. Oh, get juked on. Get juked on. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, he does damage. Oh, he's, he's like, no health. America is coming, yeah. We're gonna take your oil. That's right, get over here. Now this, this is gonna be our camp's dinner. Let's go! We collected him! Oh! <gasps> Just jump, bro. Cats can jump lengths of like six times their size. I know, that's what I'm saying. Coco is is just trying to make excuses over here. Oh no, looks like you've got company again. Watch out. There's freaking... Oh, dude, there's two of them this time? Whoa, this one's fat as shit. Look at that. He's like fatter than us. We have competition, ladies and gentlemen. We need to absorb this one so we can become even chonkier. Okay, you've got it. Yeah, no, two at a time. If only I had someone who could help me with this fight. You can wind up your attacks and unleash a more powerful variant and launch yourself into the battle. Okay, try it out, Spatula. Hold space. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, okay, okay. So are we gonna do like area of effect damage? Let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, we did two whole damage there. Charge and go. Charge and go. Oop. Oh, he did damage to me. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage, guys. Hold on. Dodge away. Yes. Oh my gosh. You guys, we're literally gonna die. And this is why- I don't know why they made me leader. Like, I was- I was, like, braggadocious earlier. Now I'm kind of getting my ass beat. Okay, okay, we've got one. 
Ooh, I want his ashes, bro. That's a souvenir. That's a souvenir. Eat the void, become the void. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe we should just become the shadow demon so we can have maximum chunk. And the pass for the campsite is open again. How convenient, Coco. You didn't have to do a single darn thing in this fight. All right? I'm literally pulling the weight of our clan. What do you think those things were? Why did they attack us? We need to report this to others. They should know if there's danger around. Yeah, dude. Like, that's that's not good. The literal, like, oil spill is, is seeping up. I think we're just hallucinating from all the fumes, dude. Like... I'd say we need to get out of here before the U.S. military creates, like, some sort of war to justify, you know, invading the, the freaking oil source. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened here. Yeah. Let's- hold on. Let's collect his dust. Ooh, void marrow. Hold on. Can we eat it? An uneasy feeling. We cannot eat it. Confirmed. Back up, repeat, we need to bring a new Freddy Fazbear. Oh my gosh, dude, this is gonna be the, the Five Nights at Freddy's cat stream. Task log social, okay. I wish we I wish we could eat the void marrow. Ooh, hold on. I wanna Oh, we got raspberries! Hello, Blue34, and thank you. I'm glad you liked my Planet Zoo build. These things scare me more than I think they should. I I should become uh, a horror game designer. Oh, you are a horror game designer. Well, maybe you're gonna seek inspiration. Oh my gosh, they built the tent. Oh, they did such a good job. I- okay, maybe we shouldn't eat Spark. If Spark built that- that tent, maybe they deserve to live. Attacked by angry shadowy cats? That doesn't sound good. You're right. Again, I find it hard to believe that all of these cats, like, just sat here while the commotion went on. Like, I'm sorry, would you not hear me screaming and, like, fighting for my life over there? They all just kind of st stood there like, hmm, I wonder what that was. Must have been the wind. Like, y'all are white run guards over here. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest just beyond Cape? What if we aren't safe? Yeah, we should probably get the hell out of here, I'm not gonna lie. Like, we should not stay here. We- we gotta go. <gasps> Who is this? Oh my goodness, their name is Ellie. This cat is freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. Jag is right. That sounds dangerous. Oh, what are we going to do? That is an excellent question. Too bad I'm the leader and I have to make this decision. This is gonna be a tough one, but I say we eat Spark. You know, just get a good head start, lighten the load. Am I going to consider playing the game Chance of Sinar? It's a pretty cool language translating puzzle games. I'll look into that. I have not heard of that. I'm terrible at puzzle games, but they're fun. So yeah, maybe I'll have to look that up if it's on Steam. Too much wind it drowns out the screams. I thought the wind went away. I swear, these, these cats are up to something. They're, they're plotting a coup. Ooh, who is this? Crampy. Oh, this is my thumbnail cat. He must be the plague doctor, given the mask. Okay, we gotta like do a voice for him. Strange voidling cats, you say? How intriguing! <laughs> what a wondrous opportunity! I would love to spot one for myself so I can research its behaviors and properties. Herm. He's a Minecraft villager. He deadass went herm. <laughs> okay, I like Crampy because Crampy is not afraid to get into the uh, into the unknown. He's not afraid to kick some like void cat ass. The live stream is just making people into spark haters. It's not that I hate spark. I just think spark is the one who's going to die first, unfortunately, and therefore is going to be eaten. That's just that's just how it is. Like, I don't make the rules. OK, plague mask W. I agree. The good news is that spatula was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? So, yeah, you guys better step up your act because uh, it's it's not going to be an easy battle if you guys don't pull your freaking weight. Whatever they are, they aren't invincible. I'm sure I I sure would like to learn more about them before the next time we encounter one. You know how you could learn more about them, Coco? Is if you freaking helped me in the fight. That's right. I'm throwing shade, okay? I cannot be doing all the work. First I get the Valerian root, then I hunt the mouse, then I fight off three freaking evil demons from the oil spill realm, and you guys just stand there? I can at least give credit to Spark for building the tent. Even if we are going to eat him first, you guys can at least help Spark with the tent. I mean, come on, guys. Leaf is a proud Spark hater. <laughs> 
sacrifice spark to the cat gods y'all think that would work <gasps> dude, dude, dude 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 our god is here tell them coco tell them that i fought off the the shadow demons all by myself tell tell the god that that we uh that i did it that you guys are no help they need to know the truth greetings spatula they they greeted me first all right they know what's up greetings all mortal cats see they're gonna call them filthy mortals I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. I hope it's good news. I mean, come on, it, it can't be bad news, right? Like, we look at all we accomplished. It's the Forest Guardian! No shit, Coco! It's the fucking people we've been trying to, to find for months now. Thanks, Captain Obvious. We are honored to be in your presence, great guardian spirit. I have missed you dearly these past months. We all have. True that. True that. God has literally abandoned us. Dude, they love Spatula. It's true. Who wouldn't love us? We're literally the backbone of this clan. It's good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Oh my god, you know them personally? All right, all right, hold on. We have to kind of suck up to Coco so we can get in good with the forest guardian. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. Well, come on, Spark, get constructed, and then you built a tent, you can build a temple too. One man's tent is another temple. That's what I always say. But I have come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you will all settle in your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. I told you guys it would be good news. Let's freaking go. I don't know if it should be here with the oil spill demons, though. That's kind of a bad move. Like, not to insult your all-seeing, all-knowing power, uh, my, my, your honor, but, um, we kind of just got attacked by the, the freaking underworld, so that's, you know, probably something. I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying we don't like our new land, but, um, listen. Listen, all I'm saying is it's kind of dangerous and, we should, you know, probably find a spot that doesn't have the evil, evil forest spirits. Uh, just, that's just my opinion, though. I still love you. Still worship you. <laughs> then a new temple shall be constructed and I shall abide with you all once more. Literally, our god is like, I don't want to look at you. I don't want to talk to you unless you build a massive temple in my honor. Uh, until then, I pretend I do not see it. I pretend I do not see it. I love that for us. You know what? They still slay regardless. Maybe FG has just enough faith uh, for us to handle it. Maybe. Maybe they're entrusting us. They're like, listen, I know I'm like an ethereal spirit, but I can't fight off the shadow demons. It's it's, it's resting on your back, spatula. <laughs> America was just testing out new weapons. No big deal. Yeah, this is like the, the psychological warfare time. They've actually turned all their soldiers into cats, and this is just an extended mission. A permanent settlement? Oh, this is wonderful! I think I speak for all of us when I say that we are ready to be home at last. That, that's true. I, I, I don't want to be a nomad anymore. But what of the Voidling Cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? Yeah, see, Coco is asking the real questions here. Alright, but I, I asked it first. Let's just put it all here that, that I asked it first. Uh, I speak for the clan when I say that I... I... Me first! I did it first! Do not fear the Voidling Cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Or you can just fight them for us. I'm not saying we're lazy and we love you. You know, we bow down to you, Forest Guardian. But like, if you know how to take them out, maybe you could just like fight them for us. Like, you know, all that, I'm only suggesting. Spatula is the celebrity cat for real. We are a celebrity in the eyes of the Forest Guardian. At least I hope we are. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. I always hate the, oh, like, you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll figure it out. Like, okay, all right. You could just tell me now, like, oh, settle in this, like, dangerous land. Uh, sure. Sure, Forest Guardian. I totally believe you. I think, I think this, I think this Forest Guardian is just trying to get us killed, not gonna lie. I identify as a Voidling cat. No, I, I support that fully. That is great for you, honestly. You're a little blob of oil, and that's, uh... I'm happy for you, Ashley. Genuinely. <laughs> In ages long past, this region was known as the Wildwood. It has been uninhabited since time immemorial. When I felt the presence of the Voidling Cats, I had a sudden 
premonition that there is some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you have journeyed to this land. Spatula! Yes, my lord, what do you need? I will teach you to speak with my voice so that you will have power over the Voidling cats. <gasps> We're becoming a god. I love this. Nope, Forest Guardian, I take back all my suggestions. I will become a deity. All right? I will do anything for you, Forest Guardian. The skill I'm about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when danger is near and enemies will scatter. You guys, it's literally Skyrim. We're going to learn to shout. It's literally Skyrim. I'm so ready for this, Forest Guardian. You don't even know. I'm going to be the best freaking... What are they called? Like, uh, the people who see... Like, psychic. I'm like a psychic or like a medium. I can, I can literally talk to gods. This is crazy. I'm going to be God's voice. So all these people right now are witnessing the God telling me that I can speak for the God. I am going to start gaslighting the shit out of the clan. I'm going to tell them, uh, Forest Guardian said that you have to bring me 50 rats by tomorrow or we're going to blow up. Uh, Forest Guardian said that you actually have to build a second smaller temple in my honor. Forest Guardian said that I'm a sexy bitch and you all have to bow down to me, okay? Dragonborn try Catborn. For real, we're literally the cat. <laughs> we're literally the Catborn. I love this. Skills are powerful abilities that you will aid you as you play. You can learn and improve many different skills over time. We got skills, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. I, I hope there's a fishing skill. The Forest Guardian is Freddy Fazbear in disguise. Dude, Stardew Valley... Five Nights at Freddy's crossover win. For real, I want to be able to invite the animatronics to my little town. You can view your equip skills in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, find Lion's Roar, and activate it to continue. All right. Okay, so yeah, it's like a little hot bar here. All right, all right. We're going to roar at Spark. We're going to test this out on Spark. Like, love you, Spark, but you're kind of the guinea pig here. Oh, that was like a little purr. You have done well, Spatula. With time and experience, you will be able to improve your lion's roar and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you will be able to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. That sounded terrific, Spatula! If I were a voiling cat, I'd be quaking in my boots! Thank you, Ellie. You're, you're, you're the goat, alright? You're gonna be my second in command. You're complimenting me too much. Is it true that we're gonna finally have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I hope it's here. I, I genuinely, if we're gonna live amongst the like shadow realm, we might as well just not rebuild our tent again. I have to admit, as much as I like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into a daily routine after all this time. I feel you, Ember. Like, you know, we love that nomadic life, but we can't do decorating in the nomadic life. And I'm pretty sure that you can decorate in this game and I am so ready. So ready for decorating! I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journeying. It's getting harder and harder to bring with me when we move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Oh my god, dude, she hasn't- Is she gonna be a, like a, a shopkeeper, you think? Bro, Ember is the G. Ember's the one you want to know, okay? If this is a shopkeeper, we're gonna tell- We're gonna tell him that the Fortis Guardian said that you have to give me everything for free. It's like, Forest Guardian said I don't have to pay for your inventory. Forest Guardian said it was free. Yes, and it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment to treat my patients. I could have a clinic again at long last. I love you, Crampy. I love you. Like, dude, he knows what's up. Sterile environment? That's, that's what we need. Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat while on the road? True, you can't, you can't have a sterile, like, environment when you're sitting in the mud. Aw, oh, you mean all that work I did building this shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow. I know, I'd be kind of mad too if I just like built a whole house and then we're like, uh, God says we have to move. That would kind of suck. <laughs> Sorry, Spark. You can live for one more night so you can build our other shelter. Also, look at, look into its eyes. Hold on. I need you guys to look into the eyes of this cat. Oh, we're almost there. You guys, look, look into Spark's eyes. Is that not the cutest freaking drawing you have ever seen in your whole life? Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Ember gonna be bringing my profits true. Ember is gonna turn this into a capitalist society. They're actually the one who is bringing the oil. Well, I need to get this back to proportion. I've I've thoroughly messed up our our stream. Uh, hold on. This is like ultra widescreen. I've 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 messed something up. How do I reset this? <laughs> oh crap. Um. Okay. How does it look now? Uh oh. Y'all, I messed up the I messed up the stream. Give me a second here. Give me a second. I've I've messed up the stream drastically. Um uh, give me a second. Uh hold on a minute. How do I uh set this back? How do I reset this? Properties. Um Uh-oh. Make it tiny and see if you're able to play it. True, hold on. It's- I'm in full screen, though. So... I've- I've thoroughly messed this up trying to show you guys a cute- I don't know, like, you can't see it in the stream, but it's, like, four feet wide. Like, this is- this is not good. Like, oh no! I- I've messed up. <laughs> I've messed up really bad, um... Huh. Huh. This is... Give me, give me one second. Give me a good hot second here. Leaf, if you're still in the chat, how do I fix this? Let me... <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, you guys, feel free to make fun of me in the chat. <laughs> I'm- I'm sweating now. I am like, this is- this is bad. Okay, reset. Reset. Okay, we're- it's better. Give me- give me just a- a- a, a minute. Uh, okay, I'll have to- Oh, guys, hold on. Okay, you can see this at least. We need to choose where we need to settle. Okay, the forest, the meadow, the swamp, the beach, and the volcano. The volcano? I don't- we're not doing the volcano. Did it go black? Uh, the, the scaling's off. I'm gonna fix it in a second. We just have to- to choose where we're gonna settle. Like, my whole screen is just, like, really messed up. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I really messed this up, actually. Uh, but meanwhile, we can choose. I kind of want to do the swamp. I think the swamp looks awesome. Okay, can I... Okay, I think we got it back. Guys, it's back. It's back. Vo oh my god, everyone's spamming Volcano. Because I love you guys, and y'all want Volcano... We- we're doing the Volcano. Okay. Alright. All right, you guys clearly want the volcano. You guys clearly want to see me suffer. I know, Deathfire too. I love swamps too. But here we are. Everyone is saying volcano, so I must succumb to the peer pressure. So obviously we're going to go on the volcano. <laughs> Coco's like, that looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, Spatula. Was it a great choice? Was it though? Or like, did my chat kind of force us to settle here? Like, I'm excited, but do you guys really want to live inside of a volcano? Do you know how many toxic fumes are going to be in there? Like, <laughs> I think maybe that's like, we're going to start seeing more visions from the forest guardian, but it's just going to be us like tripping balls on like all the sulfur coming out of the volcano. And I kind of love that for us. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? <gasps> we get to name our colony? Alright, guys. More customization. I am so here for it. Okay, so we get to choose domain. We have colony, domain, kingdom, tribe, kinship, order. Oh, I like order. Dynasty? That's even better. Clan, realm, province, state, 
society empire oh my gosh dude booty cheeks <laughs> confederation alliance syndicate union guild territory consortium settlement commonwealth fellowship outpost you guys oh we are up so oh my gosh we have so many options hold on domain kind of went hard first of all name it help us it would just be like help us society empire is also goes hard domain and empire are my two favorites let's see what's randomized galaxy flower ghost mystic lovely dynasty is classy you're right dynasty is classy maybe we should go dynasty it's like a duck dynasty booty cheeks territory or booty cheeks dynasty i want it to be like really creative how's your dinner it's good nathan says his dinner is good i'm sorry to interrupt the stream it's just you know i guess he had to let it cool down for like an hour and a half um <laughs> yeah i'm making funny ones stream <laughs> Booty cheek dynasty. It's like duck dynasty. Do I want to hear a joke? I do want to hear a joke. We got to assert dominance over the volcano. Very true. Okay, so oh my gosh. Booty cheek dynasty. Czech Republic dynasty. 10th ring. We're like the new ring of hell. That's so true. We could do booty booty dynasty. Or just the simply butt dynasty. It's okay, spatula will be fine. I know, like, I I was definitely made for the volcano. Like, you don't get this fur without a little bit of, like, radioactive decay. All right? All the cats would look like me. Rock Empire. Hmm. Dwayne... Dwayne Johnson. Did I spell Dwayne right? Dwayne... Oh, I can't do qu quotes. The Rock... Oh, no, there's a character. I was going to say Dwayne the Rock Johnson Dynasty. Why did I go with this? You guys wanted me to, but it's good. There's reason cats always have their tails up. Very true. The cats are secretly working with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to destroy the land and make pizzerias everywhere. That's given me a great idea. It's a uh, five nights at Freddy. Five nights at Dynasty. I could I could get behind Five Nights at Dynasty. I don't know what do you guys think. Five Nights at Dynasty. I think that that kind of ties into the general general vibe here. It's basically where are Freddy Fazbear? Colony emblem. Ooh. <gasps> Hold on, there are so many. All right, everyone, pay attention. We gotta find out- Oh, guys, there's one with the volcano on it! Oh, it's kind of perfect. Five Nights at Dynasty mid- Oh my god, you did not just say mid. I can't- I love the honesty, though. I'm here for the honesty. Ooh, this one's kind of nice, too. Ooh, hold on. No, no, no. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Ooh, look at that one. Looks like a heart. We got swords. We got a castle. Got a flag. Ooh, the sun is cool. The axe, the tree. I like the moon. All of these are so cool. Oh my god, we got a leaf. We got like some of this stuff. I don't know. Oh, the heart is kind of cute. Could you imagine we're like, we're Five Nights at Dynasty, but we just got a little heart. We just got a little heart. Mod the game to make a pizza emblem. You're so right. Oh my god, dude, there's a tornado! I, I doubt there's modding for this game. Maybe I'll ask the dev personally. I'll be like, please, please, developer. You know, like, they're the real forest guardian. Okay, Axolotl likes the tree. The tree one was cute. Where was the tree? It's all the way. Yeah, that's so cute. Volcano emblem does suit the area, Ashley. What does a big piece of gum say when they're in big trouble? What does the gum say when they're in big trouble? I know this is going to be delayed, but I'll still I'll still laugh when I hear it. These cats are advanced, making all these fancy emblems. I know, who's the artist cat? Oh no, I just joined and it's already scary. Nah, it's it's not scary. It's not scary. All right, we also say tornado. Okay, so we got tree, tornado, uh, volcano. 
And then, yeah, we'll do, I'm going to do a pull. I'm going to do a pull. What we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to do witch emblem. We're going to do tree tornado. And we're going to do volcano emblem. I like the volcano. How many times will we get to use it? True. All right. I've started the poll. Now everyone go and choose. All right. And whichever one's the winner, that's the emblem we're going to do. So we got the tornado here. Did I do tornado? Oh, no, I, I read that wrong. Volcano and tornado just look similar. So we got the tornado. And then we got the tree. Another cute option. This one's honestly adorable. And then we have the volcano. All right, let's see. We got seven votes. Yes, I know this is a democracy. Okay, volcano is winning. I'll give you guys another option to vote. All right, you got 30 seconds on the clock before we before we end the poll. 30 seconds on the clock. All right. It's like Minecraft vote all over again. Yeah, it's like, why can't we have all three? This is oppression. All right. I'm going to end the poll now. I'm, I'm impatient. I think it's Volcano. Volcano has won with a 43% majority. Uh, thank you guys for voting. So we are going with the Volcano. We got five nights at Dynasty with the Volcano. And now we need to choose. Okay, we got Warden, Leader, Mayor, Governor, Commander. I'm liking Commander. That seems really like you know, captain. No, guys, guys, we're doing captain. I'm such like a pirate core girly. We have to do captain. I'll see what the other options are, but I'm going to do captain. Overseer, chief, warlord. That's terrifying. Boss. That one's fun. We could be the boss baby. Monarch, king, queen, regent. That's fancy. President, prime minister, chancellor, foreman dude we can be a foreman i love that we are overseeing a construction site i'm here for it i'm glad ferrari agrees captain yes exactly director lord lady okay those are very downton abbey core emperor empress elder warden okay we got it we're gonna go with captain like that's just that's just the best one hands down all right so we are captain spatula which by the way that is just amazing. Captain Spatula, what a name. Captain of Five Knights at Dynasty. I love this. The gum said this looks like a sticky situation. All right, that was good. See, I remember what the pun was, Jurassic. I know the stream is delayed. I don't think it's that delayed. It, it can't be that delayed. I think I think you were, you're a little delayed there, but I like your joke. I like your pun. I like Captain because the... Yeah, exactly. The word is law. All right, Captain Spatula. <laughs> the Five Nights at Dynasty? I like the sound of that. Thank you, Coco. You're my number one fan. You're my number one fan, Coco. At first light tomorrow, we will travel to our new home inside of the volcano. I would trust Captain Spatula with a ship. Damn right you will. All right, Captain Spatula has sailed the seven seas, okay? In, in a feline frenzy, Captain Spatula has defeated every pirate lord to ever have existed ever. Let's all hear a cheer for Spatula, captain of the Five Knights at Dynasty. I From here on out, you will address me as Captain Spatula, okay? Captain Spatula. Coco is a Markiplier fan. Real! Does Coco know what that means? Coco doesn't care. Coco's just here to support us. Even though they, they chickened out of that fight, they're still supporting us, and I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, <gasps> They all meowed in support. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, guys. I'm... Oh, we're here. Oh my gosh. There... Can we walk in the lava? Do you think you think we'll die if we step in the lava? I We need to try it. This is actually freaking wild. We literally live inside a volcano, guys. Here we are, home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish the town, haven't we? Yeah, inside a volcano. This is your new den, Spatula. I hope the location is all right. If not, you can always move it later. Guys, look at the mailbox. There's a freaking mailbox inside of the volcano. Who, Whose mailman is coming inside the volcano? 
Yes, we're literally in the nether, that's true. Inside, you'll find everything you need to feel right at home. A bed to sleep in, a calendar, even a scratching post to train our skills. Okay, that's really cute. Captain Spatula sailed all the seas, and now we're ready to try their luck with the lava ocean. True, we're literally in the nether. The tree would have been so cool. I know, maybe in a different playthrough. Hey, Ferrari, if you get this game, um, Cattails Wildwood Story, you can do your tree emblem. I am loving this game so far, and we haven't even gotten to the meat and potatoes yet. Why don't you go check it out for yourself? You've had a long day. I bet some sleep would be nice. How do we know if it's day or night inside the volcano? Oops, I exited the game. Oh! <gasps> Guys, look at our house. Hold on, hold on. I like the scratching post. We have a pond. We have a pond. We have a pond. Oh! Do you think we'll be able to keep fish in here? Amazon delivery. Imagine your Amazon delivery driver, you know, trying to, to reach your mailbox inside the volcano. I'm crying. Dude, we are the Tazis. That's true. We live inside the volcano. That's a good reference to my uh, 100 Years of Planet Zoo stream. Wood shelters near fire sounds like a fire hazard. Oh, wait, absolutely. We live inside a fire hazard. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I think there's a good chance our shelter is going to burn down, but it's okay. It's in a volcano. We're, we're protected from the cold, at least. All right, we're going to we're going to save, first of all. Just in case we crash. I doubt this game would crash. It's a very, like, small, light game. Go to sleep. All right. Look at that. Step in the lava. Oh, we're gonna go step in the lava first thing tomorrow. Oh, it auto-saves when you sleep. Never mind. We're great. I'm glad that you can save at any time. That makes me really happy. Because uh, sometimes I do have to quit in the middle of in-game days. So I'm here for it. All right, we got 15 XP. Oh, and I see our power here has a little bit of a cooldown. That's pretty neat. So what is this, like, exclamation point? I think we can see our quests. Oh, no, that's our relationships. Okay, so we're just... We still got one. I was gonna say, we can, like... We can listen to music! I'm gonna buy the hell out of this game. I downloaded the demo at the start of the stream. Yeah, you guys, that's true. You can play the demo um, and kind of do what I'm doing right now. Like, get into it. And then... I know I'm gonna I'm gonna play so much of this game. So if you guys want me to stream this more, I would be more than happy to stream this. Like, you know, whenever you guys want. Like, cause I want to do more streaming um, besides just Planet Zoo, and I'm I'm already having so much fun with this. So I think this would be such a fun playthrough for the channel. Good morning, Spatula. How did you sleep? Great. I got heated floors in this volcano. That's something that the other uh, houses don't have is heated floors, cause we're literally in a geo thermal area i guess <laughs> there's one final thing we need to do before the five nights at dynasty is officially moved in okay we are gonna hear five nights at dynasty too much i uh, i hope we don't get sick of it but i love the name i love the name we need to construct a temple so that the forest garden has a new place to live without the forest guardian we won't have guidance and protection from the harsh wilderness around us come on let's pick a spot for the temple can we build it in the lava stream the rest of it i deadass want to i think that would be so fun it's a cute game it's literally like a whole stardew valley but with cats how could you not love it this is the founder stone from here you can manage all the details of the dynasty you can move buildings view stockpiles change administrative details it's important for the captain to visit often true i am important I'd love to see more of this, especially since my attention will be split with Paleo Pines and Dinkum at some point, and I already have Stardew. I feel that either so many cozy games out right now. Paleo Pines does look like it would be hella fun. I did watch a friend play a little bit of it, and it looks so cute. <laughs> We're going to use the Founder Stone to place the temple. Pick a spot. Any open plot will do. All right. Let me place it on the lava. Oh, I see. There's dedicated plots. Okay. I love the leaves near the lava. Very homey. Place the temple building anywhere to continue. So you can't place it on the lava. That's that's kind of sad, if I'm being honest. That's a little sad, but that's okay. We, we're still going to try and walk in the lava. Oh, <gasps> dude, that is a huge lava lake. That's crazy. We can always get more members, but there's only one spatula. Absolutely. I am the chosen one. I am literally like the best cat to have ever lived. Okay, I want to... Where should we place it? I feel like it doesn't matter that much. 
Honestly, maybe next to the, the medical tent, just because, like, you know, we need to see our visions or something. And, like, this guy seemed pretty enthusiastic. And then I think... Where's our house, actually? Our house is up here, right? <clears throat> Where's our house? Dang, this, this place is kind of huge. This is our house, so we would probably want it to be relatively close, right? So yeah, we could do right here. I like that you can kind of place it anywhere. That makes me happy. All right. Right here. <clears throat> do I want my cats to burn to death? I mean, maybe. Might be interesting. Yeah, only Sparky. <laughs> Press escape to commit your changes and close the build menu. I can change the ground type. <gasps> oh. Whoa. So we can make a grassy uh, volcano. I love that for us. I think we're fine. I like the classic volcano look. We are aesthetic cats. It's true. Oh, hi, Phoebes. You ended up being late. How's it going? It's going great. You missed the tutorial, but we're playing Cattails Wildwood Story. Uh, really cute cat game. The devs, thank you again to the developer for sending me a key. I am loving this game so much. <laughs> this is so cool. So, yes, we are playing a Stardew Valley-esque game about cats, and it is very fun. Sacrifice Spark to the Shadow Cats. Do you think that would get them to go away? It's like, here, take them. We don't need them. He can build you tents. That's an awesome spot for the temple. Thank you, Coco. I agree. I wish we could have put it in the lava, though. You know, because then the true, uh, the true psychics, the true forest guardians, uh, chosen one can walk on the lava. Now we're officially moved in. It feels surreal, doesn't it? You should take some time to get acquainted with our new home, walk around town, and take a trip out to the wilderness. I'm certain you'll find something to do. There's plenty of good hunting and lots of herbs to forage outside of town. I'm sure everyone would love it if you'd stop by to say hello to- Oh, of course we're gonna say hello to all the cats. And I'm thinking, because there's multiple plots, like, that you can pick from, we might have cats move in, and I would love that. Oh my gosh, it would be like Animal Crossing, and I need that. The cats will go to, yeah, San Cabrillo Zoo. Exactly, Jurassic. We can send them to San Cabrillo Zoo. When you're ready, come to the temple and we can formally welcome the forest guardian together. Do you think the forest guardian is going to like living inside the volcano? Or are they going to be like, really? You chose the like fiery hot burning pits of hell to live in? I don't know. It could go either way. But the forest guardian, you know, I think they like me. So maybe, maybe it'll go well. All right. I'll leave you to decide what you'd like to do next. See you around, spatula. Okay, I think first and foremost... Oh, we have mail. Dude, Amazon already got here. <laughs> I think sacrificing him would make them more mad. They're like, we need more. Sparky tastes too good. At least he would be gone. I mean, look, Sparky's nice. It's just, if he's gonna die, we're gonna eat him. Okay, we've got some mail. Dude, it's literally written on leaves, and I love that. It is written on leaves. How do they write? How do the cats write? Do you think they have someone, like, transcribe it for them, or do they just- they grow opposable thumbs? Hello there, Spatula! Crampy here! I'm writing to let you know that my clinic is now open for business. If you need medical assistance, keep me in mind. I can patch up anything. Almost anything. Someday I'll be able to remove this disclaimer. <laughs> Thank you, Crampy. You're the goat. Why does there have to be so much dialogue? That's the nature of the game. That's kind of how, I mean, we have to get introduced. It is kind of like a dialogue based game because the whole point is like you're interacting with the NPCs and stuff. Personally, I like dialogue based games. Um, I love reading dialogue, even in games like Red Dead Redemption 2. I love the cutscenes. <laughs> Crampy, a fake doctor. Everyone knows doctors have bad handwriting. Crampy got his um, medical doctorate from like online school or something you know like he he got that he got that shit uh from it's like one of those fake diploma sites how are you spatula i'm thrilled to announce that the general store is open ember is the shopkeeper let's freaking go is there a currency in this game do you think the currency is rats if you're looking for something in particular, let me know and I'd be happy to help. I can also buy your items if you need some Muse. <gasps> Is Muse the currency? Oh my goodness. We made it. Hello, Spatula. We finally arrived. This is our new home now. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing, Coco. Let's do our part to ensure success. And now we've chosen a spot to settle down. I couldn't be more excited to see what's in store for us all. All right, we've got our mailbox. I want to, is this outside? No, that's my house. 
I love that we have the little torches here. Okay. Now. Oh! Yeah, it damages our health. Look, guys. We can stand in here for a good long time, though. Carapy reminds me of a character from a show, and I'm here for it. What show? I mean, I don't know any shows, but... Oh, we're burning to death. Okay, alright. We have half a heart, y'all. Um, so, you can go in the lava. It just burns you. Thought y'all should know that. Whoopsie daisies. Can we heal? Does this do, like... Increases movement speed, improves swimming. Hmm. Let's, uh... Oops. Okay, I think we need to be careful around these bridges here. Can we go outside this way? Okay, we can. Let's try and find, like, maybe some food to heal us. I like the idea of exploring. You can forage. What is this? We got a daisy here? Yes, we got a daisy. I wonder what that does. It's toxic. Oh, no. Okay, so we cannot eat the daisy. So if I, if I, can I actually eat it? Oh my god, I can't. I only have one heart, though. Dr. Krieger from the show Archer. Oh my god, no, you're right. I love that show. I haven't watched that in so long. That is so funny. Okay, I need to rewatch Archer. Um, that's like, I'm not a big fan of animated shows or like uh, animated adult shows, but Archer was hella funny. I love the mom, um, who's like the same lady who plays Lucille Bluth in Arrested Development. She's so funny. Hopefully he's a little less evil. I think Crampy's not evil. Crampy is definitely a good guy. He's just grumpy. He's crampy. Average male guy route one, go to the nether portal. Two, put the mail in the box. Three, leave. Very normal. I know, right? Ooh, bees. Oh my god! Who just got- What? The bee freaking killed us? How was I supposed to know that a bee was going to charge us at full speed? Please tell me we're not gonna like... Oh no. Did we lose a day? This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. What if it was permadeath? What if it was permadeath? <gasps> spatula- guys, spatula died. We have to start the whole game over again. <laughs> In the depths of your dark dreams, you hear muffled sounds of a familiar voice calling out. Are we gonna wake up at the doctor with, like, half health? I'm sorry for making you jump. I genuinely was not excited. Goodness me, spatula! You're awake! Excellent! Alright, what experiments did you do on me in my sleep, Crampy? I know- I know you didn't just let me peacefully lie here without testing, like, some experimental medication. Oops. Uh, we already had our first death, guys, and it was on day one. Yeah, she's just sleeping. Exactly. We just had a little nap. You were looking pretty bad when we found you. Lucky we got to you when we did. I was right outside the cave. I stepped outside of the cave after swimming in lava and then got stung by a bee and fucking died. This is so realistic. No, seriously, if I got stung by a bee in real life, I would probably just die. And I, I love that for this game. But never fear, I have patched up your injuries. A little rest has done you some good, hmm? I just need to assess you once more before I set you loose. You may have dropped some things while you passed out. I'd be more careful from now on if I were you. Aw, oh, did I lose my inventory? Yeah, I don't think bees are nice. Alright, Ashley, I learned that the hard way, okay? I, who, I thought bees would be friendly unless you, like, attacked their nest or something or, like, tried to steal from them. All right, you look fine to me. Stay safe out there, spatula. That's Captain Spatula to you, Doc. All right, Captain Spatula. I'd hate to see you in that awful state again. I can assure you it's probably gonna happen again. <gasps> I lost six muse? Dog. That was like my life savings. Are we able to go find it? Oh, well, let's, let's talk to Crampy while we're here. Just while we're here. How do you know she's Granny? She just gives me the vibes. I mean, Crampy is, is definitely has a silly voice like that. There's no way. Imagine you take a swim in lava and it's the bee that does you in. I know, literally I was like swimming in lava and then I got I got half a heart of damage by a bee and that was it. I had hypothesized that you would come say hello. 
Yeah, I was just here, Crampy. I just woke up after literally, like, dying. Yes. I was off by a few hours, but I'm still refining my method. I'm sorry I was late, okay? I literally, like, got stung by a bee and passed out. You guys had to drag me back here. By the way, I am a doctor, not a bird. I know the mask can be a bit misleading. Only if you're, like, Spark. I know, Spark's a little stupid. <laughs> If you chose boss, you would have become the final boss. Oh my god, that's so true. I would be Freddy Fazbear. Stardew spouses respond to death mod vibes out here. Oh my god, yeah, I guess they are gonna be- I, If I, um, have, like, a spouse in this game, do you think they'll, like, move on if I die? My apologies. Surely you already know that about me. I find it helpful to remind everyone from time to time. It is ever so easy to forget. I like how the plague mask eyes change expression just like Spider-Man's mask. I'm here for it, all right? Doc figured out how to animate their mask and uh, good for them. If you're ever badly hurt or in need of a remedy for any uh, malady, I thought it said malady and I was like, what? But it's maybe it is malady. I am your cat. Now then, spatula. It's Captain Spatula to you. What might I able to to do for you. I should have gone to Crampy before I headed out to get healed, huh? We are gonna chat, though. <laughs> what an exquisite day for some field research. I intend to wrap up my findings on whether or not rock debris may be transmuted into gold today. Ah, oh, fancy yourself an alchemist then, Doc. I like the sound of that. We, we definitely gotta see if that rock debris can be transmuted into gold. Spoiler alert! It cannot. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, I when you say spoiler alert, you need to give me time to not get spoiled, Crampy. Ah, well, someday my time in the limelight will come, and I will be recognized by the scientific community at long last. I love in the lore that there's a cat scientific community. I'm so here for that. I love that. I like a, a no way your spouse would keep with you. Nah, they just move on. They're like, oh, she's dead, you know, unless he got milk. Exactly. Only Spark would be out here thinking Crampy's a literal bird. <laughs> we need a, a face reveal. Dude, he is Dream. He's gonna look like Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, let's leave Crampy. His house is a whole maze. That's that's kind of cool, actually. What is this? Can I, like, is this, uh, it's just like a, you can't interact with it. Okay. The Five Nights at Dynasty. Okay, I am at full health. And I did get to keep some of it, but I don't have any Muse, which actually makes me really sad. I literally lost all my money. I, I want to go try and find it. Let's talk to Coco and see if we can find it. Hello, Spatula. I trust that you are staying busy today. Let's chat. A gentle fall of rain never hurt anyone. Yeah, it is raining inside the volcano, so shouldn't this turn to obsidian? <laughs> are you actually live? Because I'm conduced. That is a very fun word, 360, yeah. And I am live, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is a very fun stream. I love this little cat game. All right, let's 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 go see if we can recover our stuff. This is just like Minecraft. This is literally Minecraft in real life. All right, Captain Spatula. Let's go, let's go get your money that you dropped. Ooh, I don't know if we get to recover our items. Okay, wait, we did die by the bees, so maybe it's by the bees. Dude, hold on, there's a bug. Oh, <gasps> there's a ladybug! Can I catch it? Oh! Can I eat it? I can't eat it. But look at that! Oh my god, we got a ladybug! Oh, confused. <laughs> is this rain in a volcano? I know, right? Yes, it is delayed. The stream is a little bit delayed. <laughs> That's not a bee, that's a hornet or a yellow jacket in disguise. I know, bees don't just attack you willy-nilly. You have to provoke them. I know that from the bee movie. What do we got here? Is this more Valerian? Ooh, oh, there's multiple star ratings, guys. Watch out for the bees. Okay, okay. Where... Where are the bees? I think I hallucinated the bees, y'all. Because I think this was where the bees were. And now they're not here. Hmm. Okay, we got another thingy thing. What is this? Licorice! <gasps> Le chat is horrible. 
cat is chat in French. I thought so. I read that I used to work at a pet store, like a pet food store. And so we would get like there was a brand that was like in French. And so I know that from working at a pet food store, basically. <laughs> what other kind of games you're getting kind of bored? Well, we, we still have a little bit to go on this game. We're kind of just getting started. We're eventually probably going to play a little bit of like Planet Zoo and just do some work. Like we're probably going to either be in the Oceania Zoo on Planet Zoo. Um, we can't do the 100 Year Zoo just because it has to be on the like the official live stream, according to my rules. Uh, or we can just kind of mess around in it and like we can tour zoos or something like that. And then if not, um, we'll probably do like Dinkum or something and play like a couple days of Dinkum. Okay, so, oh, 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 wow, this goes far. Hold on, do you guys see something on the map? Oh my gosh, this map is huge. Holy moly. River Vale, West Meadow, West Foot. Okay, so I see. We have different provinces that we can influence. You know, that's kind of cool. Your Lava Scorch brain made them up. I know. I know. We, uh, we were high on all those fumes. Okay, is this more licorice? Yes. Okay, hold on. There's a ladybug. There's a yellow ladybug. Boom, dead. Got his ass. I know, it's a huge map. It's a huge map. What is this? <gasps> Y'all. Did you hear that? There was like a grunt. Something like, something like went, Hur. What a strange structure. I wonder what its purpose is. The door does not seem to open. That is weird. That's suspicious. <laughs> Would you all do viewer submitted zoos for zoo tours? Yeah, I think that would be a really fun one. I think I would do like, just cause um, I can't stream super late into the night, I would pick like one zoo to do. Y'all, there's a squirrel. How do I? Okay, okay. Oh, <gasps> no, I, I, I'm catching the squirrel. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh, wait, this this game is so fun. I actually kind of like the little... Because the hunting, it's not, like, super duper hard. It probably gets harder as, like, you level up and stuff. But this is honestly so fun. Okay, let's go back home. We're at spring three, so I think we did lose a day. <clears throat> the building looks like it had roots. That's what I was saying. It, like, it's, like, built into a tree or something. It's, like, I don't know. It's really... Ooh, what is this? Marigold, maybe? Marigold, I was right. I want to I wanna hunt this bird. We're decimating local wildlife populations, guys. Are you happy? We got a sparrow. Okay. A tiny brown bird with a reddish hue. A juicy squirrel caught by an expert hunter. Thank you, inventory, for the compliment. I don't have a complete zoo yet, but if I ever finish one, I can let you know if you like. Yeah, of course. I would love to do... Um, eventually for planet zoo like a community competition like just or even just a showcase where right? we just kind of like go through y'all zoos see what's what you know something really chill where it's like you know we kind of go through and rate have the community rate maybe you win like a i don't know a special you win a gold star <laughs> i'm not exactly sure what what if there would be a prize but it would be fun Okay, I want to see what's in here. Is this the store? Oh, no, no, here's Ember. It's 4.40 p.m., so maybe they do close at certain times. Can I talk to you? Yes. Oh, hello there, Spatula. I'm glad you've come by. I'm just about fully set up and all moved in. I run a general goods store, Ember's Emporium. That is an adorable name. That moment when you're the greatest hunter in all the land. I know, I literally was an expert hunter when I caught that squirrel. Can you eat the bird and squirrel? I can, and I'm going to, because I actually am hungry in this game. Also, if you see Spark, can you tell them that their litter shift started an hour ago? Wait, why'd I say litter shift? I don't know why I read litter. First of all, Spark is right there. Spark is literally right next to you. I don't know if you're blind, deaf, or just you don't care, but your child is right there, ma'am. Let's chat. 
Accounting work is boring, and I could use a break. Counting on your paws all day is a great way to zone out quick if that's what you want. Oh my god, they do accounting. That is so funny. Y'all have to manage money. Oh shoot, I just lost track. Now I'm gonna have to start over again. I literally interrupted them. Kill Spark. Can we push Spark in the lava? Send it to is a cool game. Oh. That message just got deleted. Oh. I... I swear to god, there was a message there. There was a message there and it just got deleted. I don't know if you deleted it or if like some auto mod thing deleted it. It's- it's gone. I think I hallucinated stuff. I'm so sorry. I like the lava animation. It is really chill and satisfying. Okay, I want to actually visit the shop. Ooh, we can buy pockets. So we can stack. It ain't- oh, it increases our vitality. Oh, and we can buy food. That's cool. We can buy medicine. We can buy bugs. Oh, there's furniture. I love that. Imagine if the cat sweared. I know, I swear. Spatula swears. Captain Spatula has a mouth like a sailor, which is, you know, fitting. Why is the volcano kind of chill? Oh, it's mad chill. Ironically, you'd think it would be hot as hell, but no, it's mad chill. We've got a lot of furniture. Oh my god, yes, there is a litter box. We're hella getting the litter box. We need a toilet. Okay, we're gonna tell Spark that you need to start your shift, you lazy ass. What's up? Catch any bugs today? I actually did. I caught two. Sorry, did you say something? I totally zoned out. You literally asked me if I caught bugs. I answered, and you weren't even listening. Y'all, Spark- Spark's gotta go. Spark's gotta go. Alright? This kid literally just ignored everything I said. Literally asked me a question, and then ignored me when I answered. This kid's a menace. I'm supposed to be the only menace in, in this, uh, Five Nights at Dynasty. Spark? <gasps> Dude! Ah! Did you- Did you- He just ran through the freaking lava! Buddy, you- Buddy, you can't do that. You can't do that. How come he got to go in the lava without consequences? Also, we're gonna eat. We're hungry. Let's eat the squirrel caught by an expert hunter. Ooh, that, that filled up most of our hunger. Let's freaking go. Okay, we visited Spark. We visited Crampy. What's in here? Mole cave? What the hell is a mole? Um... Guys? There's a mole talking to me. I think- I think the volcano fumes are getting to me, if I'm being honest. I think the volcano fumes are affecting us all. His name's Molo. Eh, what's with all the noise up here? I'm trying to take my break for crying out loud. Then you come along and trample all over the ceiling like you own the place. Herf. I freaking- I love Molo. <gasps> Molo is so good. Oh my god. Look at his, um, look at his little character down here. Like, mind this, great art. Look at how angry he looks. You must be the new guy. Corporate sent you, right? Corporate? Corporate? Let's see those claws of yours, okay? Is there mining in this game? Is there literally mining? You're gonna find a star-nosed mole? That would be so cute. They pre-bolt a mole enclosure, for real. What do you mean you're not from corporate? The things I have to put up with. Look, here's the deal. I've got a mind to run. We're falling behind schedule. We've got quotas to meet. Deadlines. The whole shebang. It's not like me to grovel, so I won't. But we could use your help anyways. Listen, I don't like this any more than you do. Dude, he is... It's, it's perfect. He's a mole and he owns a mine. That is wonderful. Corporate, we are the corporate. Does Molo think we're a mole? Look, moles don't have great eyesight, okay? You see that cave behind me over there? Yeah, that one. It's got ores. Gemstones. Imagine there was like sparkles when I said gemstones. Riches beyond your wildest dreams. Yep, it's all true. Why do I think you're lying, Molo? Why do you think me- Why do I think you're just trying to get me to go in a deep, dark cave for you? Because you're a little scared. You're just like Coco. Everyone in this game is a coward. 
I just need workers to dig them out and bring them back to me so I can ship them off to corporate. Dude, you and corporate, we're living in a volcano. There, there ain't no corporate. Those claws look sharp enough to break the boulders and retrieve their contents. The deeper you dig, the better items you can find. I'll pay you in mole cash for any items you can excavate. The rarer the items, the more I'll pay. Dude, he even has mole cash. He, he doesn't even use, like, the cat currency. They have their own currency. I wouldn't trust mole with a mine. I mean, they're good at digging. He just seems a little shady, but... I do love a good gemstone. All right. That's enough onboarding for now. Go find me some gems already, all right? Oh, jeez, Molo. Okay, okay. Are you... Like, listen, I know you have to send off to corporate and everything, but, like, I literally did not sign up for this. Can I chat with him? You just standing there or are you ready to talk business? I ain't got all day. Either fork over your gemstones or get going. All right, Molo. All right, Molo. I do want to visit your shop. Ooh, a headlamp. He's got lots of stuff. <gasps> Guards! <clears throat> Alright, mole, mole cash is based. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? We got a freaking pirate hat! We need to go mining right fucking now. Aren't mole claws made for digging? He's getting his spatula to do the dirty work? I know, literally. He doesn't want to get his, his mole claws dirty. He's He is like the foreman. And he's trying to get the workers to do it. Down with the mole city. Okay, we need to go mining so we can get mole cash. Okay, so... A dark cave yawns before you. Just inside, a steep staircase descends into the depths below. Would you like to enter the mine? Yes. <laughs> I would like to enter the mine. I don't care if it's not safe. We, we need to... I don't care about anything else. We are going to mine so we can get a pirate hat. The fact that there is hats in this game is just chef's kiss, all right? I couldn't ask for anything better. Okay, the rest stop is at 24. So can we just break? I did not read the instructions. Okay, you just, you just combat. Okay, I got rock debris that can't be transmuted into gold. Do I have an, is my energy level just my food? I'm guessing it's just my food level. Because I don't see another energy bar. Wow, there's like not any- Oh, I found another level! Further down. Yes, let's go down. It's like, we're gonna get our cheeks clapped if we go down here. We are gonna get- Like, if we find an enemy, it's, it's all over. It is all over. Do you click to move? No, use the arrow keys. Arrow keys! Alright, come on, let's find some gemstones. Let's find some gemstones. We need mole cash. We need a hat. Alright. That was easy. Found another staircase. We need to be cat in the hat. Whoa, wait, we found two different things? What? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. We'll never respect us as a captain without the hat. Exactly. We need the hat. We need the hat. We gotta do everything for the hat. Oh, uh, guys, there's a bat in here, and I don't really like that. That is scary to me. Can we fight it? Let's fight it. Oh my god. No, he's, like, actually powerful. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh my god, we're getting our ass kicked. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Minecat. This is literally Minecat. <laughs> Maybe if Krampy tried better, we could transmute it. Shaking my head. I know, right? We gotta take this shit to Krampy so he can transmute it into gold for us. Because all we're finding is this, like, rock stuff. I don't know if I want to go down another level. That bat almost killed us. Can we eat to heal? I want to eat the bat. It's rare. I don't care how rare it is. We're eating it. I just ate the freaking bat I killed. And the sparrow, too. Honestly, we need a lot of food. Minecraft cat edition. This is Minecraft, but with cats. All right, we're going to go down the staircase. All right. Are there any enemies down here? I hope not. Oh, wow. We're just finding the staircases so easily. I guess because it's like the beginner level mine, right? I just realized my ears look like 
devil horns. I know we're at full fish right now. Do you think we'll heal at full fish? Oh, there's a bat. Run away. Run away. We are going down. All right. Let's go down. Mine at level five. Can we even... Excuse me? Are you friendly? <laughs> Oi! All the stinging is making me mighty hungry. You want to keep tags on your stomach down here? I like to pack a snack for home before I try going down too far. I already ate, bro. Don't even worry about it. Oh, and you might find some nasty critters down here that'll fight you if they see you. Might make sense to bring some healing herbs, too. But if you bring too much, you won't have any room left to haul back gems. <laughs> so try and strike the right balance. Wait, do we have healing herbs? Healing herbs treats poison. Movement speed. This one gets food. We don't have any healing herbs. So if we die, we die. We just have to collect this rock and sell it for measly mo mole cash. One of our claws made of that they are shattering rocks. I'm telling you, we're the chosen one. We're just crazy. Oh, iron ore. Can I make a, an iron sword? Oh, bye, Ferrari. Thanks for tuning into the stream. We'll see you in the next one. We're gonna make an iron sword, guys. We're gonna get Molo to make an iron sword for us. Oh. Hello. This staircase leads further down. An enormous lock is running you from using the stairs. There must be a key hiding around. Alright, so we gotta find a key, huh? Well... Would you look at that? I found the key. Let's go. Dude, we're- I feel like going into this mine is so dangerous. Yeah, we have to rest at 19 levels. Smeltery to- I'm sorry, what the heck is that thing? Absolutely the fuck not. Nope, there's more. This is literally like a horror game. Okay, maybe it doesn't chase us. It just does its own thing. Okay? Look, there's a, ro a lot of rocks between us and them. Bye, Ashley. I'll see you in the next stream. There's a lot of rocks. I think if we avoid the cat ghost tornado... Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, thank you. More iron. Okay, I don't think they aggro at us. That's fine. That's fine. No, we're fine. What is this Binding of Isaac crap? I've never played that game, actually. Funny enough. Alright, down we go. Come on, we need the mole cash. We need the mole cash. Mine level 7. Oh my god, these cats are kind of terrifying. We're also out of food, by the way. Um, So we can't, like, once we run out of the fish energy, that's that's it for us. Also, there's a bat. And, uh, that is scary to me. Uh-uh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No cat thing for us. This game is secretly the scariest game of all year. Nah, this- I think Stardew's mine is way scarier, personally. And I'm not complaining, okay? Mines are scary in general. And I don't like scary. I don't like scary. I guess they just bounce off of stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of like, don't stand in the way. Don't stand in the way. So as long as we stay in our lane, we'll be fine. We're getting lots of ore. Now, we're probably gonna- yeah, our inventory's filling up really fast. So we're probably gonna have to go back up soon. Okay, descend, yes. Yeah, we have 16 more levels until there's, like, a rest stop, which... That's- that's too much. We're not gonna make it that far. Okay, I don't want to aggro the bat. Are they cats or are they dogs? Why? Because they're, like, digging? Oh! Oh, you mean the, um, bouncy things. Maybe they are dogs. That would probably make more s Yo, what is that? We found treasure, guys. What is this? Can I eat it? I think it's just a light. Yeah, I think that's just a light. We're finding a lot of iron, though. Oh, hello. 
This one looks like creepy. The rocky steps are damp with moisture. Are we gonna be in like a flood? Can we even break this? Oh, oh, we got a gemstone. Also, there's a spider. Can I? White cave cricket. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Y'all, there's like special bugs in here. Do you think we're gonna have a museum that we can like collect stuff for? If so, that would be so slay. We need a museum. Can we sell the light for mole cash? I know. I was thinking that like, can I pick this up? Lun, we gotta like mine the gemstone stuff. Okay, hold on. We're almost out of food. We need we need to go. We need to go back up, y'all. Look at this food. It's it's going down by the second. We just need to start like robbing ancient tombs uh for quick for a quick buck. Okay, just a couple more rocks. Just a couple more rocks and then I'll go up. I got plus five mole coins. Hello. Maybe it's because I got like a, an achievement or something. Okay, I'm not finding the, the entrance to a different level. We should probably go back, huh? Yeah, let's let's go back before we run out. <laughs> Looks at metal pillar with crystals on top. Can I eat it? You never know, man. You never know. Okay. Yes, leave the mine. Let's see what Molo has to say. You just standing there or are you ready to talk business? I have items to sell to you, Molo. Oh, <gasps> guys, this is so much. Okay, we're going to sell all of our rock debris. We're going to sell all of our iron ore and our quartz. Leave. Okay, Molo. Can I... I can buy some stuff. I can't... The captain hat, we need 350 okay? This is all for the captain hat. You're right, uh, Shuneth. All for the captain hat. Five nights at kittens. Real. Five nights at kitties. Okay, we're gonna get out of the mine because I have no food. I need I need to like go hunting or something. Okay. There's Crampy. I'm guessing this is City Hall. Temple. Oh, this is the temple. Okay. Oh, okay. We get to visit. We get to visit our pal. Be like, hey, we went mining today. Sorry, we've put aside our, our deity duties for capitalistic intentions of buying a pirate hat. This new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You have done well in its construction. Thank you, I did it all myself, totally. Well, I didn't force the other cats to do it, proclaiming it was a vision from the forest guardian that I didn't have to work or anything. Spatula? Coco? I thank you for your efforts. From my new home, I shall watch over our fledgling dynasty. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. I sense there are threats on all sides. While I will do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new cats- Oh my god, yes, we get to invite people to the volcano! I love this! We get to actually, like, build our village. This is so good. This is so good. I'm so excited. I am so excited, guys. <gasps> okay, what's this? What's this? Yo! We got a statue! <laughs> it's beautiful! What exactly is it? I'm thinking the same thing, Coco. So they'll be able to stay here as long as the temple isn't destroyed. Let's all hope the volcano doesn't erupt. I know, right? Could you imagine? This is the only, like, biome where it's an active hazard to live in it. Like, not only the toxic fumes and the lava, but literally it could just erupt at any minute and we could all be dead. That's probably not a, a safe bet, huh? This is the Pillar of the Wildwood. I have created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit residents of the Five Nights at Dynasty. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that name. It's, it's, uh, it's a little silly, as I'd like to say. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the Wildwood. They will join us when they see that together we are stronger than we could ever be alone. Use the Pillar of the Wildwood to discover new cats to recruit to the dynasty. Each different- each cat has differing needs that must be met before they may be recruiting. By donating the correct items, you can fulfill those needs. Okay, so it's kind of like a mix between, I'm guessing, like, bundles and then, like, uh, creating items, maybe? So that way, yeah, like, we have to- 
I wonder, we will probably have to craft stuff. That That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services. Hell yes, new services. Let's go. It's, it's like Dinkum. It's like Dinkum, for real. I love Dinkum. Every new resident is a victory to be celebrated. This is important work, Spatula. Captain Spatula. Uh, my, my, my lord, my lady. Uh, I'd please address me as, as Captain Spatula. All right, so we're supposed to visit this often. Let's see what we have to do. Oh, we got trading. <gasps> okay, hold on a minute. First of all. Oh my god. So we have to donate things. Okay, 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 okay. This is so cool. Okay, we have this. And then we just need to get, we need to save one of the the quartz things. So we, we can donate. Okay, we'll donate that. And because we have this, we'll donate the void, Meryl. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, I can't wait to go fishing. This is so cool. We're gonna get a museum. I am so excited. I am literally so excited, you guys. This game is freaking amazing. Wow, it's 6.50 p.m. I think we should probably go hunt for some food. We only have- we have no coins at all so let's let's go hunt for some food and then we'll probably rest for the night oh no no -uh, there's a bee in here oh no that's a ladybug we're safe guys i i thought we were gonna die oh it went in the lava that was unintentional i promise i love all the little light posts out here that is so cute well, let's go up let's see if there's any critters we can hunt for because we are literally just gonna starve to death. Oh my god, guys, we're taking fucking damage. You guys, we're gonna die. If we don't eat something soon... Okay, there's a... Can we eat the moth? Okay, we cannot eat the moth. I'm still gonna... I'm still gonna kill him, kill him though. Yep. Y'all, we're, we're... Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, they've breached our defenses. I know, I thought the bee's dead ass was gonna- Um, there's a- There's a void cat over there. It's okay, it's okay. We, uh... We probably shouldn't- We probably shouldn't fight the void moss. Let me just get these real quick. Grab those. You guys can mind your own business up there. Eat Sparky, I know. Oh, you're right, licorice. Yeah, a quick bite. Dude, that put up so much of our hunger. Okay, let's go get- let's go sleep. Let's go sleep. Because we're- our health is getting dangerously low. Back to the volcano for me. You are on death's door. I know, I am always on death's door. I'm not good at video games. Like, I may play video games on stream. Uh... But I'm not good at them. Okay, skillfully avoid the lava. Because if we go in the lava, we will die. And let's just go home. Take a nice little nappy poo. We do have letter. Oh my gosh. Hello, spatula. I'm writing because you recently visited the clinic to get a checkup. It was my pleasure to provide you with medical assistance. Please do take care of yourself out there. I've attached some healing herbs free of charge. Thank you, Crampy. Crampy is a G right now. I'm playing Cats and Soup while watching Cat Game. This is perfection. Is Cats and Soup like another cozy game? Because that does sound adorable. Home makeover. Oh, we got Mulby. Need some more space in your den? Want to move your furniture? I'm your mole. Summon me at any time inside your den and I'll be right there to help. Anytime, night or day, call Mulby. That's me. And if you have a project in mind, I love that. Okay, we got a work order. If you're ever looking for work to do, make sure to stop by the task board. Use it to post odd jobs that need doing. If you complete a task, you'll surely be rewarded. Ooh, we got task tokens. Okay. There's so much to do in this game. What the heck? There's a lot more than I was expecting. Because it's like, you know, this game is brand new, right? So, it, you know, there's like, I knew there was going to be like Stardew Valley-esque content. I knew there was going to be like farming and hunting and stuff. But like all these tasks 
furniture decorating, mining, fishing as it looks like. Oh my gosh, there's so much content. We're gonna sleep. And that should auto save our progress. And then since it's been two hours, we'll go ahead and we'll finish up the stream with another game of your guys' choice. We'll do that for like another 30, 45 minutes or so. Oh my god, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You. I must speak with you. You think yourself mighty? You think yourself safe? Young special Is this a threat? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh... The base location is really dangerous for anyone walking home drunk. That's basically how I control my character, unintentionally. You are not welcome here, interloper. Leave these lands or face the wrath of the Wildwood. Excuse me, we are literally being threatened by a shadow. Your dynasty shall suffer if you do not heed these words. Um, hello? Do not test my patience. Be gone or beware. Well, I guess we're going to pack up and move, guys. You heard the man. You heard the man. Look, I ain't, I ain't necessarily a runner, but I mean, it's, it's our safety's at risk, right? What a frightening dream. I should speak with a forest guardian at the temple about this. Yeah, that's a little concerning. Okay, most of our health is recovered. What we're going to do, though, we're going to save here. And what we're going to do is we're going to play Threat Try Challenge. I know, right? No, we're going to kick that cat's ass, whoever it is. That cat doesn't stand a chance for real. Like, we've beat three shadow demons and one bat. We may have died to a bee. But look, our KD ratio is still in the positive, okay? So we're going to beat this guy. Okay. What's promo code? I don't know what that means. Anyways... Uh, we are gonna end this game for now on a little bit of a cliffhanger and we are totally picking this back up Like I was testing the vibes out for this stream for sure. We are hella picking this back up. This is so fun uh, What a fun stream game. This is gonna be a great series So this is gonna be perfect one for anybody who's doing something cozy. This will definitely be like our evening stream uh, Probably mostly on weeknights weekends are actually more of a busy time for me because I do have projects going on but now we're gonna do Our second game as promised since this is a multi-game stream. We're gonna have you guys vote on Which game we want to do so we'll have a few options And we're only gonna be playing for like 30 45 minutes so, you know, keep that in mind. So we're going to do Planet Zoo. We're going to do Dinkum. I think Leaf doesn't, like, spark much. I know. Who who would have thunk? So we got Planet Zoo. We got Dinkum. And then... Let's see. I mean, those are the two options I was thinking, honestly. Or we could do Zoo Tycoon 2. Just throwing that in there. Those are the games I have. All right, you guys vote whichever one wins. We'll play that for like an hour or sorry, like third, half an hour to 45 minutes. Ooh, votes off strong with Zoo Tycoon 2. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, contentious with Planet Zoo and Dinkum each receiving votes. Zoo Tycoon 2 is still in the lead. Also, can we appreciate this music? It is so cozy. Okay, Dinkum and Zoo Tycoon 2 are tied. Y'all, y'all, not y'all all voting evenly. We need a tiebreaker. Someone, someone jump in here and vote on the stream, okay? We need a tiebreaker. Come on, come on. Who's gonna, who's gonna do it? Oh, we got one vote for Zoo Tycoon 2. Okay. All right. I think it's gonna be Zoo Tycoon 2. Speak now or forever. Oh my gosh, and it's tied back at- And Zoo Tycoon 2, I can't keep up with this! I can't keep up with this! Okay, Planet Zoo and Zoo Tycoon 2 are tied. We need one more vote. We need one more vote. What's it gonna be? Planet Zoo! Okay, we have- How do we have- Okay, okay, Planet Zoo's winning. I'm gonna end it. We've got a lot of votes. Planet Zoo, it is. Okay, we're gonna end the poll. Y'all voted Planet Zoo. It was a close one, though. It was almost Zoo Tycoon 2. It was tied for a while there. 
but let us la launch, launch Planet Zoo, and we'll play that for like 30 minutes. And what we can do is we can either tour a zoo or I can work on one of my projects. Um, like if you guys want to submit a zoo for me to walk around and tour, feel free. Like I am totally fine with that. If not, I'll just work on something. I can't do the 100 year zoo because that's like dedicated to Tuesday's slot. Um, which I will be streaming that this Tuesday, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So definitely be there for that. I'll post on my community page. So let us start. Let me change the window to... Okay, it's not recognizing Planet Zoo as a game right now. That is very interesting. cigarette zoo dude if it's still there i will tour it okay for some reason my thing is not wanting to capture planet zoo and i'm not exactly sure why we're having mad glitches planet zoo okay leaf is saying cigarette zoo and i think that's a fun one to do on stream let me do my audio capture planet zoo. All right. Left for a couple minutes. We doing PZ? Yes. The, the votes are in. The majority was planet zoo. Oops. Hold on. I opened the Steam Workshop. <clears throat> Do we have Cigarette Zoo still on here? I think one of y'all might have been Leaf said it got taken down, so I don't know if we still have it. So I don't know if we can tour that. That might have been like a once in a lifetime event. I, I It might have been. Hello, Adrian. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it looks like uh, Cigarette Zoo got nuked. That's unfortunate. That's actually really unfortunate. I'll give my viewers a chance now. If you want to submit something, you can just drop the Steam link or just tell me what to search on Steam and I'll tour it. Oh, wait a minute. Cigarette Zoo is right there. You're going to need a Dinkum stream one of these days. Oh, I'm 100% going to do a Dinkum series. Like, I, I wish I could stream more. Um, and I definitely want to. I've been wanting to stream Dinkum for so long. Hold on. We should pop into Cigarette Zoo. I actually found it. It's not deleted. I lied. I have it. Do a diorama. Dude, that would be fun. Dioramas. Yeah, I could, like, make a mini diorama, but I feel like that would take longer than, like, 40 minutes. I know it's saved. Thank the Divines, honestly. Thank the Forest Guardian for preserving Cigarette Zoo for us. This stream took a very strange turn. We're playing like a cozy cat game and now we're like touring Cigarette Zoo. Just sub. Thanks for the sub, Adrian. We do a lot of fun content on here, so you won't regret it. I hope. You might regret it. I'm going to be honest. Um. <laughs> All right. This hopefully won't take too long to load in, but we have another like 40 minutes we can do. Yeah, 40 minutes at the most. I'd watch anything you stream, though. I appreciate that, Deathfire Ritsu. I know a lot of my viewers are like that. Anyone who's been on the stream, the, like, same 10 people who have been on the stream, I appreciate all y'all. Y'all have been real. Um, and I, I know you guys are so supportive. But we gotta, we gotta go back to our roots with Planet Zoo right here. There's a lot of games I want to stream. I want to stream Dinkum. I want to stream Skyrim. I want to honestly stream, like, Oblivion. I've never played Oblivion before. Actually, that's not true. I've played at a friend's house a couple of times, but I don't own it myself yet. Hello, Emo Eris. Welcome to the stream. You're joining in more at the end, but again, we still have like 30, 40 minutes. We're touring Cigarette Zoo. <clears throat> I've actually been to all your streams since the 100 years started. Dude, that means you were like one of the founders of that series. That That's pretty awesome. I appreciate the support. The grass eaters are here. Welcome back, Fuller Kaiju. Y'all have been summoned. I need to probably, hold on, I don't know what's wrong, my, my, I don't know if it just takes this long because it takes this long, but this is taking a long time to load. I love Elder Scrolls games. Me too, Deathfire Ritsu. Okay, okay, it's here. 
I know, I don't have all the DLC. Okay. Oh my gosh, the lag. We're gonna have to do this in pause mode. You need like a NASA supercomputer in order to run this zoo. Let's go in explore mode. Also, there are so many guests here. We're gonna actually close the zoo. That's probably gonna help with the lag. So since y'all wanted cigarette zoo, we're touring cigarette zoo. This is such a weird sentence to say. <laughs> let's let's get all these people out of here and then we're gonna pop down for a tour. This is gonna be the ultimate tour. I know the one in that one video was a little bit uh it was a little short, you know, you don't get the full experience. We're gonna get the full experience here. Look at that. Dude, inspector report. Look at that. Oh, zoo was closed during visit. Never mind. Hey, we got like five stars though. That's pretty good. So laggy. I know. Delete some of the trees. Are there that many trees? Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of trees. Yeah, we could probably delete some of them. Probably don't need this many trees. I didn't even, I haven't noticed that. I've been watching you since like the no duplicates vid. Dude, you've been here like the no duplicates vid was my comeback because i like posted really casually on youtube before then um and so that definitely makes you a long time viewer because like my first video again it was really really casual and then since then i just kind of uploaded like clips or like random more random stuff but now now i like actually kind of take youtube seriously i've been grinding yeah i'm closing the zoo don't worry there's not going to be any guests here there's still, there's a lot of them. There's still 300 people here. Do you think they sell cigs at the zoo? Probably. Why so many trees? Uh, don't ask me. I didn't make this zoo. This is from the workshop. This is a beautiful creation on the workshop. Let's delete, make sure all these are gone. Okay, that's like a lot of the trees gone. I think maybe that should help. There's also just a lot of pieces in the zoo. And I, I would consider my computer pretty beefy, but not beefy enough for Cigarette Zoo. Nothing's beefy enough for Cigarette Zoo. Okay, we can pause it. We got all the particles and stuff. Yes, this is a private tour. Okay, y'all. We're a guest. We're coming into the zoo. Dude, they do sell cigarettes. It's like the first stand. Look at that. If we, can we unpause it? No, it's too laggy. La Cafe. Look, even like the bathroom, or is this a restaurant? I was gonna say, it looks like a bathroom. No, it's a restaurant. Whoa. So yeah, they got like a patio seating, even the bench, you guys. Oceania Zoo, we can, we can do a little Oceania Zoo after this one. We can just do some casual zoo touring. Even the freaking benches are cigarettes. Okay, so I'm gonna buy everybody. We're all gonna share a pack, okay? Packs are, are pretty expensive these days. So I'll take a pack of the Marlboro Reds, please. Marlboro Reds. I can't say that name. Malbec Reds. We're all gonna split it. I know there's a there might not be enough in there, so we might have to cut them in the half. There are animals in this zoo. We are gonna see the animals. Look at that. This is a work of art. The, the viewing galleries. We even got education speakers. All right, let's see. What animal have we here? Oh my gosh, there's a donation box. We're definitely going to donate. We're going to donate uh, half, a back of, half a bag of cigarettes. Judge is bad French. I know, I'm so sorry. I, 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 like, know nothing. I feel like I can smell this. I smell this zoo. Oh my gosh. I got to go. It's late and I have school tomorrow. Good night. Oh, same with Adrian. Thank you guys both for tuning into the stream. We had a fun one. Uh, good night. Have a good evening. I know it's pretty late over there for some people like on the East Coast. We got red pandas. This barrier is very broken. They're going to break out and get into the cigarettes. I'm pretty sure the donation boxes just allow you to feed the animals cigarettes, which love that. You can go inside the giant cigarette. There's a walkthrough exhibit. Oh! I was not expecting this. 
Who needs lungs anyways? I know, right? Lungs are for losers. I want to see... Wow. Wow. There are so many penguins. This is like the laggiest thing. We, we got to keep the zoo paused. Oh my goodness. There's like two habitat. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. All right, I guess we won't go that way. Or no, we can just hop over it. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't continue. It just ends. That's a lot of penguins. <clears throat> what a wonderful habitat. They literally, if they want to get to the other water, they have to walk over the people bridge. Man, what is this? There's just a zoo entrance in there. They want to get out, uh, get their cigs, get out their cigs. I know, right? They're like going over to the, every, every animal gets a pack of cigs. What is that? I don't know what that is, but it's, it's interesting. Okay, this is the red panda still. Ooh, ooh, what's in here? Meerkats? You only have two of them? Or are they all in the burrow? They're probably all in the burrow, huh? That's right, we can't unpause it. Then we also have Le Café, which we get, it looks like meerkat dining. Love that. Probably can eat the meerkats. The zoo is kind of odd. Yeah, you don't say. So it is a little strange. Well decorated, though. I mean, look at the custom fences and everything. I love the random ass seating. I know it's, it's very chaotic. Very chaotic for sure. We have another walkthrough. Now this one, I would say some of the staff have to help lag maybe. Oh, fire them. I don't even want to go through the trouble of that. I think it's mostly the pieces. Whoa. Oh, we got monkeys. They can climb all over the cigarettes. I love that. Oh my god, dude. There's so many king penguins. I know. I know the stream's like behind. Um, There were so many. The monkeys are insane. You even got like bleachers. You can sit on the thing let's do a keeper talk smoke a cig the monkey smokes a cig what a beautiful habitat they even got an albino one i mean this is just gorgeous this is this is just beautiful i mean the monkeys are in great hands here they have so much space to walk around they have all of the trees they could ever ever need it's lay not lay what do you mean it's lay not lay like lay Le? I'm sorry, I'm American. I'm gonna be offending my French-speaking friends here. I, I apologize, but I also... Eh, what can you do? What in tarnation? Look at that beauty. Hold on, we need to get sight of this. I'm sorry, is that a monorail? That's... No way there's a freaking monorail here. That is so cool. This guy's rainbow hair! I didn't know that was a thing. That's actually kind of neat. <laughs> I'm sorry, are those mint cigarettes? Why are there mint cigarettes? I want to know that. What is... Wait, why? Ew. I mean, cigarettes are gross in general, but mint? That just seems foul. It's like smoking toothpaste. Alright, we got... These are not gorillas. That's a gorilla, but these are not gorillas. <gasps> I just realized you can measure how tall you are next to a cigarette. How tall are we, guys? I'm this tall. This is how tall I am in real life. This is my view. This is the view you get if you're me. How does it feel? Yeah, your stream is liking the build pieces. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh yeah, all these build pieces. It's gonna, this is gonna be easy for my PC to run. Nope. I love, by the way, this thing. I think that's like a monkey. I, I can tell by the ears. Malbec light. Oh, now here's the gorillas. Oh, there's a baby gorilla. And again, every time you guys donate, the gorilla gets a sig. So donate your sigs. Donate your sigs, guys. I love the giant cigarette. What a statement. Le, like L, uh, like la. La. That's interesting. Never heard of that. Ooh, we got another cigarette stand. We can't afford to buy more. Who will win the emperor penguin or the king penguin? Emar says I'd win. Yeah, no, we, we talked about this. You could kick penguins ass. 
Now, what's in here? This is another walkthrough. It seems like there's a lot of walkthroughs in the zoo, and I kind of appreciate... Oh, <gasps> camels! Just like the cigarette company, you guys, was meant to be. Oh, this is the... This is the other side of the king penguin habitat. Okay. That's where it leads out. Look at the giant cigarette. It's like a balloon. It's tethered to the ground. That's actually crazy. Menthol cigs aren't bad, according to my family. Well, they're still bad for you. This, this zoo is also an anti-smoking PSA. Okay? This is what happens when you smoke cigarettes. Guys, this is what happens when you smoke cigarettes. This is what it does to your body. Stream is very choppy. I want you to know that the choppiness you're seeing in the stream is what it looks like on my screen. Um, I genuinely am watching a slideshow in my game right now. This is just what it looks like. Like, uh, I'm, I have my stream open on another tab, and it actually just looks like that. Which is kind of funny to me. Um, this because this game, ha or this, this map has a lot of pieces. I want to go in here. What a nice break room. View of the camels. Smoking a cig with the camels. Love that. This zoo is, is very inspiring. Yes, very close to the actual the the. I I'm practicing my French, guys, so I can pronounce things with the cigarettes. I forgot about the cigarette Eiffel Tower. We gotta go there next. Okay, we've got what is in here. I want to see what's in here first. We have exhibits. Pretty neat. Okay, we're going in. Oh. <gasps> We got a jaguar? That's kind of sick, actually. Look, they have a, a shelter and it's made of cigarettes. How many of you guys can say that your house is literally made of cigarettes? Not many, I bet. Not many. Do you think they do camelback rides? I hope so. This zoo is perfect for it. What is that? That's a tiny ass koala. Dude, it smells like cheese in my office. That's concerning. But yeah, this is a really small koala. Really big habitat. Maybe there's more. Maybe that's a baby. You think there's more in here? There's got to be more koalas in here. They're, they're in the trees. Yeah, I don't know. We got... Bison, there's a lot. Oh, dude, there's an albino. Albino bison, and then they have the like vapes. The bison vapes. Is that like a real brand, or they just they just make that up? Oh wait, we got alcohol, guys. That's right, the the booze lake because they have like crocodiles in there and stuff. Ooh, I want to go in the tunnel. You guys want to go in the booze tunnel? Look at that! This is what drinking does to your body. Alright, be beware. This is what happens when you drink alcohol, even just one sip. Okay, what's this? This is just the alcohol exhibit. This is just like, you see the bottle. So I think we're in the alcohol section. We have more penguins. This time the African penguins uh, in a can of a uh, case of beer. And then we also have, wow, that's very blue. More crocodiles in more alcohol. I love the aquarium. I'm going to make the most goofiest zoo in Planet Zoo. You should. And I will tour it. If you make a goofy ass zoo in this game, I will tour it on stream because I love free content. Let's be real here. I love free content. So I will hella- is that P? That's dead ass P. What is- oh, we got seals. Hold on, wait, this actually kind of looks like it's a cute- Oh, lord. 
Look how laggy that is. Again, this isn't the stream. This, this is a slideshow. We're watching it at like two frames per second. I mean, great viewing for the pea habitat. This is massive. What the hell? Oh my god. Hold on. I, I want to see this seal swim. This is... If it wasn't so laggy, PRB, I have to go to make, make a best habitat. Oh, that's your ladybug, isn't it? I remember that from yesterday's stream, actually. Because who could forget someone with, like, a pet ladybug? I've never heard of that before. Okay, now... First of all, there's pandas over there, so we gotta see that. This zoo is massive. What incarnation? The panda habitat doesn't seem to have any cigarette theming. Besides, like, the donation bins. What I really want, I want to go see this cigarette Eiffel. Hold up! I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. How did I miss this? How the hell did I miss this? No, you guys need to see this. There's literally, like, an orangutan, a panda, holding a cigarette. The Fusas are lighting it for the pangolin. That is the dopest thing I've ever seen. Guys, this is what happens when you smoke a cigarette. Okay? This is what happens. This is your body on cigarettes. I don't know what to tell you, but this is, your, this is what happens to your brain. You look sick as hell. No, you don't. Don't smoke, kids. Hopefully there are actually no kids in here. That would be... My stream is... This is not a family-friendly channel. <laughs> if I drink it, will I become a crocodile? Maybe. I wouldn't stop you from drinking the booze habitat. You go for it. You drink the pee booze habitat. Live to your heart's content. Honestly, these are nice, though. Like, I feel like the animal has to be really happy swimming in the lake of alcohol, right? How could they not be? Okay, is this the koalas again? I think this is the koalas. Yeah, we couldn't see them. <gasps> Yo! Can we go in there? It's a walkthrough. <gasps> yes! I didn't notice the cave the first time through. What's in the cave? Oh, it's underwater for the crocodiles. Okay. What are these spectacled caiman? Go off. I love how broken the glass is, you guys. It, we just need to start tapping on the grass. Grass. We need to start tapping on the glass and we get free booze for life. I mean, come on. What a good deal, right? It just comes raining out. Okay, I, I keep getting distracted on our pilgrimage to the, the cigarette Eiffel Tower. I love this, like, little fan thing. And the little, like, stop hand thing. I mean, the attention to detail in this zoo is just magnificent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Walk through exhibit. Walk through exhibit. <gasps> Shut up. Hold on. Is this going to be, like, smoke? It is! Dude, they're hot boxing. They're hot boxing. This is the dedicated smoking area where they got butterflies. Dude, they're hot boxing the butterfly house. That's sick as hell. They're perched up on a cigarette. They're pollinating cigarettes. You can't convince me this isn't the coolest shit ever. Yeah, I, I'm so glad we came back to this zoo. There's no way we could have gone this in-depth in the, like, Planet Zoo Workshop video. That's freaking crazy. Now, okay, Eiffel Tower, here we come. Ooh, and it's a walkthrough habitat. Hello. <gasps> Lemurs! Oh my gosh, that one's tiny. We got a baby. I wish you could, like, walk to the top of this. I wish there was a path to the top of the cigarette Eiffel Tower. That would be so cool. I know, right, Leaf? Why is it so good? It's just that good. 
Like, this whole zoo is a freaking masterpiece. Like, this person, I, I need to, like, interview them. I need to, like, I need them to know that they're appreciated. I need to know what the hell was going on in their head when they made this zoo. This PSA doesn't seem very anti. I know. Listen, I'm trying my best to be anti-smoking, but when the animals are literally lighting up a cigarette for each other, that's metal as fucking hell. I think the problem with the stream is the further or like the longer the stream is, the more delayed it gets. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but the stream gets way more delayed. Like at the beginning of the stream, it wasn't that delayed, but I think it just gets super delayed once we get like two hours in. Wow, there are so many entrances to this. This is freaking crazy. Oh my God, we got more tortoises. Metro. Oh, there's like the entrance. Okay. This is the lemurs, right? Oh no, there's bears in here. They are cramming so many animals into the zoo. I am genuinely impressed. What the heck? That's a really cool morph. That's really neat. I've never seen that in this game. Oh my gosh, it's the monorail. I wish we could go on the monorail, but it's too laggy. Like, if we went on the monorail, it would be like watching a slideshow. This arch, it's masterfully made. They use like the the golden ratio. Perfectly freaking align all these cigarettes. I mean, what a work of art. This person is like... Leonardo da Vinci, but for cigarettes and alcohol. Also, the foxes are really cute. Oh my... Guys, what the heck? This is... Oh, it's so laggy, but look at them! They have all the cool morphs. That is just too cute! Oh, and this one's coming out of the burrow? We got all the... All the girls are here. Okay, when it comes out of the burrow, it kind of looks kind of weird. It looks a little, like, broken, but I think it's just because my zoo is so laggy. They are so cute! They got the wonderful habitat, too. They got the alcohol habitat. That's how you know it's a good one. More of the fox habitat. Oh, back to, like, the piss penguins. Love that. What is up here? I think this is all- yeah, that's all staff. Ooh, do we have, like, a restaurant again? Oh, we have got a- You guys! You guys. Cigarette playground. They made a cigarette playground. Again, there is no way I could cover this all in my YouTube video. What a genius! We go on the bouncy, we go on the slide. We're going on the slide, guys. Oh my god, we went on the fucking si We're doing it again. I want to go on the cigarette slide again. All right, sit down. Wee! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, one last time. How much do you want to bet that the tower is, is the lagger? It has to be. That's where all the pieces are. There's so many pieces, so many little polygons in there. I returned from Macbeth Habitat. He's a very happy ladybug. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going on the slide again. Okay. And sit down and we. <laughs> this is so fun. The freaking teeter totters. This is the best playground ever. This is this zoo is made for kids. Got to go on the swings next. You know? Like, look at that. We're going so fast. We're going so high. Like, come on, who doesn't love the swings? I think the cigarette playground is, like, one of my favorite things. Okay, number one favorite is, like, the smoking, the orangutan helping the pangolin smoke. And I think the playground has got to be, like, my second favorite. 
just because of how clever and then also like the cigarette eiffel tower these are all amazing like again how the hell does this person come up with this we need to get them in the chat and explain their you know findings we got a whole bar and restaurant i mean just wow imagine you get to sit at the nicest bar ever and you get a view of the cigarette Eiffel Tower. I mean, who could ask for a better a better view? This is amazing. I love this with all my heart. Now, I want to see, is there anywhere we've missed? Okay, we got the monorail, we got the Eiffel Tower. What is that? That's another cafe. Ooh, we got capybaras. Look at them all. I love their little shelter. So cute, guys. Oh, in the cafe, you get to, like, watch the capybaras. And there's babies. This is so cute. I know it's, like, cigarettes and stuff. Don't smoke. Don't smoke, guys. You will literally die. But, like, look at the animals. I mean, come on, this is pretty cool, you have to admit. Okay, that was a viewing. I think we've seen all of it. There's a hippos. Guys, there's a freaking bong. There's the devil's lettuce. These are- oh no, I didn't even notice there's joints. Dude, the hippos are getting boofed. How did we miss this the first time around? And then, yeah, more. This is, like, the back of it. Okay, we have, like, a beer can shelter. Love that. The seals are so happy. Look at it. This guy's so happy, he's levitating. I mean, who, who could make it better than that? I love the, like, six-pack toilets. This is where they source their beer from. This is just insane. Okay, that's the staff. Look at this from above. From above, you would never see all the detail that goes into this, you know? Like, there's so much detail, so much work put into this, so much love. It's truly amazing. It's truly magnificent. I think that this is a good place to call it. As we overlook the cigarette zoo. Can we get, like, cinematic mode? Or is that gonna lag? As we overlook the cigarette zoo. What a nice place to end our stream for tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am getting very tired and very hungry for dinner. Let me tell you, that cat game that we played was amazing. We're definitely playing that again. We're going to continue our story. Thank you to the devs for providing a key. I am so sorry that you're hearing this over the cigarette zoo. But again, this was a multi-game stream. We had to do just a little bit of a bonus uh, for our long-term viewers here on the chat. Returning to a fan favorite. But yeah, I had so much fun on the stream. Don't forget to tune in on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be continuing the 100 Years of Planet Zoo live stream. Also be on the lookout for later in this week, we have a new video coming out. It should probably be around the end of the week or weekend, um, depending on how long it takes to edit. I have to get some new footage just because some new stuff has come out. Uh, it is a Roblox video, but it is related to zoos still. I did mention it in last night's stream. So yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be like a very fun week. I've got some really good products, uh, you know, coming out. Products, videos, projects coming out. So I know delay test sent at 42. I know the delay is really bad. I'm so sorry. Um, again, I want to see if I can fix the delay with the next stream. I'll do some testing to see if we can get um, a lesser delay and then I am really hoping to move soon, and when we move, like, by soon I mean in the next, like, four or five months, maybe, it'd be a long process, but if we are able to move to a no-house, I'll be 
right in town, I'll be able to have more choices for internet. Um, I'll, we're going to get the best internet possible because in this household, we are gamers. Right now, our attic, our, our apartment is in an attic unit. And so we're really far away from the main network. And so even though we have like an adapter and we're plugged into it, it still doesn't get the best upload speed. We have um, decent internet like for download speed, but upload speed is, is a lot slower than at my old house. So we're hoping at the new house, uh, if we end up getting it, we can have way faster internet and the delay should like be non-existent. But anyways, I know little rant. Uh, the suit was made by a master builder, Deathfire Ritsu. Absolutely right. Person who made this from real recycled SIGs, as uh, Emo Era says. Thank you for your contribution to society. Thank you guys for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Don't forget to like the stream and leave a comment uh, telling me what you thought. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.